have you been see? I've been here sitting for a while and not even the king has bothered to offer me one reception. I didn't know you were here. Didn't your good man tell you I was waiting for you? Maybe he forgot to mention. You see? You see why I told you that you shouldn't allow such class of people in a place like this? I see. Anyway, that's beside the point. Um, where is the king? I mean, I made a 500,000 naira reservation for him at the presidential hotel. A king like him should not be allowed to celebrate his birthday at home. Oh, wow. That's um, very thoughtful of you. Very, very <laughs> kind of you. It's always me. But I'm um, sorry you might have to call to cancel because the king is not in the right frame of mind to have any form of celebration at the moment. Wait a minute. I should call the presidential hotel and cancel a 500,000 naira reservation simply because the king is a little bit under the weather. Is that it? Have you paid them? Not entirely, but Before then I... Again, don't worry. I'll call them and they'll have your money refunded. All right? The family have a very good reputation with the management of the presidential hotel. That's besides the point. When I... You... Vanny, please, just save it. I'm really not in the right frame of mind for this crap you're giving, all right? Save it. Cancel it. What is going on, Miss Manuela? Please say something. What is going on? Where are you going with the bags? Miss Manuela, please talk to me. What is going on? Please, please. Understand. I need to leave. Really, I can't stay on. Now, do not misunderstand me. I love you. And nothing, nothing is ever going to change that. But, you know, each morning I wake up and set my eyes on you. The whole memory just comes back like it just happened. I'm sorry. I can't stay. If only I knew. If only I knew how much damage my action would cause. If only I knew the repercussion, I wouldn't have done that. Believe me when I say it wasn't really my intention for this to happen. Olivia, please, you, you, you can't leave me. I'm sorry. I have tried, tried so hard to forgive and forget, but it's not working. Nicodemus, what you did is abominable. There's, there's no way I can forget you. I, I, I look at you each day and, and, and the memory is always there. I need to leave here. I need to leave you. I need to leave the palace for my own sanity and peace of mind. I'm sorry, but I have to go. So what about our daughter? What is she going to say? How exactly is she going to feel when she comes back to find out that you're gone already? Well, my daughter has already made up her mind on where she stands. I invited her to come with me, but she refused. Why do you have to do that? Olivia, that is not right. Well, she's old enough to know what she wants. 
And if, if she needs me, she knows where to find me. I am leaving you, not abandoning my daughter. Olivia, so where exactly are you going? And what are you going to be doing now? <laughs> you seem to have forgotten I am a London-trained chartered accountant. Well, I got a, a job offer two weeks ago and I'll be starting the new job tomorrow. Olivia, since when did you start searching for a job? Since when? Oh, well, I didn't want you to know. I kept it a secret because I knew you were going to try to stop me. You know, I thought going out of the palace every day would help me, you know, get rid of this whole thing. But it's just not working. I need to be away from you, from this palace, from everything that reminds me of what you did. I, I am sorry, but I need to go. Olivia, you are the queen of Awala Kingdom. Oh. And you can decide not to walk one single day of your life if you choose not to. I've made sure of that. And you are not lacking anything and you know it. I know. And that's why um... My mood beats. The headgear, I will remove when I get oh, to you. Please. please, Nicodemus. If you really love me, you will not stop me. Do take care of yourself. Olivia, but, but, Olivia, Olivia, please come back. Olivia, you can't do this. Olivia, please, please, I'm, I'm begging you, please come back. My lady, please. Isn't there a way around this? Don't do this. It is not right. It is not right at all. It is not right. But my staying back is not right either. My lady, whatever it is, whatever the, it is that the king must have done to you, please, there has to be a way out. No. There's no way out. The damage can never be salvaged. My queen, remember that marriage is for better, for worse. You can't just live like this. Emmanuel, you've been the most disciplined and perfect assistant I, I ever had as a queen. Please. Take care of the king. <laughs> Your Majesty. Emmanuel. You're my friend and you will always be. I have to leave now. Take care of yourself. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Your Majesty, the royal plate number. The Queen said that she would turn this to you. Drop it and you may leave. Why is she doing this? Why can't she forgive and forget? You can tell me about it. What eats you up? I can't believe it's a year now. A whole year since my life took a nose time. Please, you can do less of that kind of language. Your life is blossoming. There's nothing like a nose dive. Where's my father the king? He's in the palace. Where's my mother? 
She's in her private residence, living the life of a single woman. This whole thing is devastating. Do you realize it's your father's birthday? This shouldn't be the mood in such a day like this. Okay, I'm sorry, Miss Manuela. I'm just not happy. I'm not. Don't worry, don't worry about me. Just go back to what you're doing. I'll be fine. Okay, your princess. Thank you. Father. Oh, princess. I didn't hear you come in. I know your mind is far away like it has been for a very long time. But today is a very special day. Do you know what today is? And what is so special about today? Today is your birthday. Oh, that? Father. Now, princess, thank you for acknowledging my day. But if you don't mind, I would like to be left alone. Why is this happening to my family and I cannot do anything about it? Oh. What is wrong with you, my princess? We are through with what you requested. Would you like to eat in your room? Just give the food to someone who is hungry. I'm no longer interested. What is the matter? You know what? I'll see you when I get back. This was so nice. What can I do? Right now, I'm late for work already. How will you even have time for your only daughter when you can abandon your husband? Sylvia, you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, there you go again. You won't even talk to me. You won't even come home. You won't say anything. Sylvia, you know you can always come and stay here. It's an option. <laughs> and you think I'll just abandon my father and come stay with you? Just because you have refused to forgive him. Do you even know today is his birthday? Of course I know it's his birthday. Do you think I can ever forget that? <laughs> okay, so this is a point where I will say, thank God you still care, you still remember. Sylvia, I love your father. And I will never stop loving him. Listen to yourself. Do you even know what you're saying? Do you understand the true meaning of love? When you cannot even forgive him for whatever he did to you, whatever it is he did to you, you why can't you just forgive him if you say you love him? Look, I'm, I'm sorry to say this, but mom, you don't know anything about love. This one I see right here doesn't understand the meaning of love. You've punished him so much so that he doesn't even understand the true meaning of celebrating his birthday. I see a cold-hearted, wicked woman. And for the woman who bore me, if you don't get a good heart, 
you're going to end up sad and very lonely. What did he ever do to you that you cannot forgive him? What did he do? Is it not supposed to be for better or worse? What did he do to you that you cannot forgive him? It's me. <laughs> hey, but don't forget to hide the only night of the African temple. <laughs> you are indeed a character, you know. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. Hey, Mr. Avani. Yes. Hey, hey, anything for the boys the night. <laughs> you will not change. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> well, will I change it to that? Okay, <laughs> so can I go see the princess now? Of course, of course you can. You are free. Yeah. Uh, it's just that uh, she's not around now. She's not around at this time. Where could she have gone at this time of the morning? I don't know. Hey, but I'll advise you. You just go and relax and wait for her. <laughs> All right, <I'll> <laughs> hey, but wait, hey, before you go in, hey, I have been meaning to. You see, this is your shirt. Eh? It's very, very big. Hey, hey, what, what, what are you trying to do <laughs> to touch my shirt? Listen, bro, this, this designer shirt is 250,000 naira. You don't touch it anyhow. Huh? <laughs> Two hundred. <laughs> I'll be waiting for the princess. Yes. Savan. Eh, what are you trying to do? Catch my set. It's the two hundred thousand naira. Imagine. Huh? How can one man wear a shirt worth two hundred thousand naira? Watch it, 300,000. Shoot, 500,000. And all he could give me is, is this change. He must be the CEO of Superglue Company. A catching gum. It's not bad to tell the princess of our wali kingdom that she looks very beautiful. Thank you very much. Oh yes. Hey. Thank you. Well, my princess. My princess. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, please, I want to ask. Eh, when will the chicken for the king's birthday party be ready? Oh, the knight is hungry. Mrs. Emanuela is in a better position to tell you that. Maybe you should go to the kitchen and ask her that. Okay? My princess is right. <laughs> Hey, hey, my princess, what? what is it? Hey, hey, don't be offended. Uh, see, I, I, what I want to tell you is that, um, um, you see, you just got angry and I forgot what I want to say. You know what? When you remember, come to, come tell me inside. Very correct. Very correct. Hey, but my princess, what? 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 my princess, what? 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 my princess, sorry, now. So, you see, I remembered it. I know I will remember it. I know I remember it. I remember it, my princess. Uh, 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 help me uh, inform Mrs. Emanuela to remember to give me two pieces of chicken lab, some porano, as a knight of the African temple. Okay, I will deliver your message. 
You can go now, right? Thank you, my princess. Hey, but my Mama, if you call my name again, you will lose your job. Ma. I've been here talking about chicken all half. Hi, 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 hi. How could I have forgotten? I have forgotten to tell my princess that Mr. Avani. Whoa! Here comes my beautiful damsel. Where have you been? See, I've been here sitting for a while and not even the king has bothered to offer me one reception. I didn't know you were here. Didn't your good man tell you I was waiting for you? Maybe he forgot to mention. You see? You see why I told you that you shouldn't allow such class of people in a place like this? I see. Anyway, that's beside the point. Um, where is the king? I mean, I... Made a 500,000 naira reservation for him at the presidential hotel. A king like him should not be allowed to celebrate his birthday at home. Oh, wow. That's um, very thoughtful of you. Very, very <laughs> kind of you. It's always me. But I'm um, sorry you might have to call to cancel because the king is not in the right frame of mind to have any form of celebration at the moment. Wait a minute. I should call the presidential hotel and cancel a 500,000 naira reservation simply because the king is a little bit under the weather. Is that it? Have you paid them? Not entirely, but Before then I... Then, don't worry. I'll call them and they'll have your money refunded. All right? The family have a very good reputation with the management of the presidential hotel. That's besides the point. When I... You... Vanny, please, just save it. I'm really not in the right frame of mind for this crap you're giving, all right? Save it. Cancel it. Julius, excuse me, I'll be left alone. You're tired. You're not... Wait, I... Huh. Really? I waste my 500,000 naira making a reservation at the presidential hotel. And wearing my very sexy designer Versace shirt to come here and have my time wasted. <laughs> if the princess will not see me in this outfit. If you continue like this, you are going to get yourself sick. Put yourself together. At least, if not for anything, for your father. Yes, about that. I've been trying to talk to him. He's not even listening to me. I tried knocking on his door since I came back. He's not even opening the door. He's not answering me. I'm just so angry because I don't even know the bone of contention or all these things. I don't know why it's happening, what is happening. Nobody's saying anything to me. Thank God I've never heard the word divorce. Don't say that. Don't you dare mention that word in this house again. One thing I know about your parents is that they might be going through turbulent times, but I've never seen a couple more in love than them. Oh yeah? In love? And my mother walked out on her husband without even looking back. And you said they, were, they are in love. Princess, what did you say to your mother? Oh, don't give me that look. I know that is where you're coming from. How do they know? Sylvia, I've known you since you were little. Do you really think you can successfully hide things from me, even when you do not say a word. I saw that look on your face when you were leaving this house this morning. And I knew exactly where you were headed. She's the cause of my father being sad. She's the whole cause. Do you know she's even asking me to come stay with her? She wants me to abandon him as well. And you say she's in love? She had the mind to ab abandon her husband and you say she's in love? Now, Sylvia, listen to me. That woman you speak of is your mother. And believe me, I know she loves you so much, more than anything in this world. You don't even know how difficult it is for a mother to stay away from her child. Then why is she? 
Why is she staying away from us? Why? One thing you have to know, my child, is that marriage is not what you think it is. It is deep. And no matter how much we try, we never get to completely understand it. I just want you to have this at the back of your mind that your parents love and will always love each other. I don't even understand what is going on. At least somebody should even talk to me. Come my father is not talking to Come me. My mother is not you talking really to me. Really Can they understand. even talk to me? Am I not grown up? And, am I not grown? What exactly are you telling me? That the king has refused to eat? Locked up himself in his room and refused to speak to anyone? Yes, sir. I'm sorry, you cannot see him today. And where is the princess? She's at home. Call her for me. Yes, sir. Tell her that I'm waiting for her. Yes, sir. They're just frustrating me. I don't understand what they want me to do. What am I supposed to do? I will not agree with you that they are frustrating you. They are not just happy about what is going on. Greetings, my princess. Chief of is here to see you. Um, didn't you tell him that the king is not willing to receive visitors? Yes, I did. I told him. And uh, what does he want me to do exactly? Go and see him. The man is obviously as confused as everyone else. You know what? Tell him I'll be with him shortly. Okay, my princess. What am I even going to say to him? I don't know what to say to him. Once you hear him speak, what you will tell him will come to you. <sighs> Oh. I humble myself before the great man of our land. How may I help you? A beautiful princess. You know, the elders of Awala Kingdom are waiting to start today's celebration and I came to find out. What am I supposed to tell them? Um, honestly, there's nothing I can say to you right now as I'm standing here. Have you tried to talk with him about this? In more ways than you think. Today is his birthday for goodness sake. Greetings, it's your follow. Greetings, my princess. Oh, tell her I'll be with her shortly. Okay, my princess. Thank you. Um, Ichi, I'm out of options here. Please, if you have any ways to help, if you have any solutions, can you just help, please? Okay. I will come back tomorrow. Between now and then, I expect you to find a way to discuss this with him. I will try. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Then. My love to your wife and your family. They will hear. To calm down. I've been trying to know, I've been trying to reach him. I've been knocking on that door and he's not even answering, he's not even listening to me, he's not opening the door. That is the reason you need to relax. Babe, calm down. Your parents are going through hard time. I need to be strong for them. Don't worry now, your dad will be fine. I hate my mother. No, you don't. You love her. I just wish I can disown her. No, you don't. Wait, whose side are you on? I'm on your side. It babe. obviously doesn't look like it. Just getting tired. This whole thing is frustrating me. Babe, I'm sure you're hungry. Oh. I'm not hungry. You've not eaten since morning, no. Please. Not you're hungry. not hungry. I'm not. <sighs> yeah, I'm hungry. Oh. I want to eat. And if you don't want to eat, I will not eat. That means you'll be starving me. And who knows? I might be pregnant. What? Wait, what did you say? We will discuss that over lunch. Wait, did you say you're pregnant? Wait! What did you say? Did you say you're pregnant? Make it very beautiful then. I have something on fire. Miss Emanuela, I don't even intend to talk plenty. That girl is, is provoking me. Jane is provoking me this palace. I am making this as a formal complaint because 
One day I may just lose it and I'll beat her to pop. I'll beat her. Hmm? That's insane. You parade yourself as a knight and you're going to raise your hands on a woman. The, the woman should not dip her cursed fingers into a meal. This damn self to a night. How? How? What do you mean by that? I know you don't know what is going on in this palace. Eh? But do you know that anytime you dish food and serve me, you give that the Otoro child that abuzo to come and serve me. She always tampers with my meal. The, the food you gave to the knight of the African temple. How now? Who told you that? It was the one who told you that. I am the one telling you. Nobody told me. It's what I experienced. I mean, I don't need anybody to tell me that you cannot, in your wildest imagination, intentionally give me one piece of morano when you dish food for me. It's not possible. I know that you always give me double portion, as is my right. My right as the African uh, temple knight. <laughs> but that girl, Tonyo Shiano, she will always hum, 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 remove one and give me one. How? Obedi, How? It's okay, Obedi. How? I have heard you. Hmm? Mm, I've heard you. Uh, no, I did not report this for you to head me. That's not what I came here for. I am reporting so that you handle it. If not, I'll handle it myself. It's okay. I will handle it. Thank you. We feel China. Mm. I will give you your meat. Yeah. Mm? The two meats, I'll be I'll make sure you have your two meats. If you make it three or four, from the ones who resume, it won't be a problem. I have something on the fire. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I salute you. Thank you. One that happens. <laughs> Ooh, this is so nice. Okay, so tell me, who is responsible? Responsible? For what? The pregnancy, of course. Oh, that. <laughs> that was a prank to get you to come and eat. What? Are you see. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> okay, remind me next time mm. to believe whatever you tell me when you play this prank for me again. Mm. The truth is that you won't even know when I'm lying. I hate you. When I'm being sincere. I hate you. <laughs> I love you. Oh, uh, sweetheart, I have to go now. Okay. I got to be somewhere right now. Wait, wait, let me guess. You have a date? Hmm. Let's say business slash date. Mm -mm. Business woman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what I am. <laughs> yeah, um, I have to go. Okay. Mm? But please. Promise me, you will not be down again. I don't want to see you sad. I want to see you smile like this, okay? Okay, but um, if you promise me that you keep me occupied with your phone calls telling me how your date is going. Charge your phone, no? <laughs> because I will call you, Daya. <laughs> you gotta go see that. Right, thank Take you care. so much. Uh, no, Yes, I I waited to be sure that you are back from work before coming to see you. Well, I just came back a couple of minutes ago. What do I offer you? No, don't worry yourself. I'm not here for that. So what are you here for? Well, Your Majesty, the oh, issue here... Please. Olivia. Olivia, okay? What is it? <laughs> no, what is it that this man did to you that you cannot forgive. Can you open up to me? Your Majesty, it's been over a year now that you left the comfort of your matrimonial home and came to this place. Set up this place and st started living like a single woman. Does it not occur to you that you can no longer be a single woman? Your Majesty, you are a queen. Not just the queen of any kingdom, but the queen of a kingdom as elevated as a Walla kingdom. You have an office, the office of the queen. Does it not occur to you that your absence in the last one year is affecting that office of the queen? Now, what is the problem? I understand 
whatever it is, is very strong. Even when you have not told me what it is. But I understand how devastating it could be. But after one year, are you not supposed to have put that behind you and come back to your home? Come back to your responsibilities? Come back to the things you are supposed to be doing as the queen of a kingdom? You will not understand. Then make me to understand. <laughs> that is why I am here. I want to understand it. Your Majesty, you are a queen. And a queen must always behave like the queen. Why reduce yourself to the level of looking at people that are throwing stones and then you are joining issues with I them? I beg your pardon. That is not what I am doing. And that is not why I am here. That, what am I saying? There's no way you would understand. Now, now, listen. I don't care how you feel. Or what anybody thinks of me. You will never understand. I don't care how you say it. Or how you choose to say it. But you know what? I would never forgive the king. Now, if you will excuse me, I need to go back to my room and, you know, I just came back. Take off my work clothes and rest. And as you leave my house, kindly shut the door after you. If you'll excuse me. Your Majesty, please. You're seriously walking out of me. What is wrong with her? What is it that she cannot forgive? And now she's walking out of me without saying anything. When the eyes cross the river, who can make it stop? Ihe wute, obi wute, onyega watamo. Should I hold on? Should I let it go? I don't know what to do. Please let it go. Let it go. Happy birthday. Olivia, I, seriously, I miss you. My phone has been on flight. I needed to meditate. But calling me on a day like this, does that mean you've had the change of heart? Nicodemus, do not start, please. I will take that to me. I just called to wish you happy birthday. I've been trying to reach you all day. And I am telling you immediately that I cherish this call with the whole of my heart. Olivia, are you coming over or do we hang out in one of these eateries around? Nicodemus, happy birthday once again and do enjoy your day, okay? Wow. 
I will love you forever. When the eyes press the river, who can make it stop? Oh, your majesty. Oh, it's your father. Yeah, yeah. Seeing you like this has actually revived my very demoralized spirit. Yesterday was not a good day at all. <laughs> it's your father. Some days are actually like that. How are you doing today? Your Majesty, I should be the one asking you that. How are you today, my king? Well, I am very fine as you can see. Thank you. You know, you shocked everyone yesterday when you decided to lock yourself in your room. I refuse to speak to anybody. Even as we speak, the elders are still asking a lot of questions. And I trust you to be able to provide the appropriate answers for them. For how long, my king? How long am I expected to continue providing these answers? Your Majesty, I may not know exactly what transpired between you and your wife, but I am thinking that one year is long enough. It's long enough for you to have come over whatever it is and come back to becoming that king that you used to be in this kingdom, that very strong king. For how long will you continue giving the people the impression that you are weak? It's your father. You of all people should know that I am a lion. And even in sleep, the lion can never be seen as a weak animal. Uh, you know it. That is good to know. And I am so delighted to finally see you are becoming that very strong king we used to have. Stop sounding as if everything has gone back. I am still the king and I am certainly in charge. I know. <laughs> I know my king. You know, I, I don't want to go into all that because I am actually happy seeing you like this. Yesterday was indeed very wasted and I am thinking the best thing for me to do today is to enjoy the best of wine. <laughs> is that guaranteed, my king? Of course it is. <laughs> that enjoyment you have today. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Hi, Emanuela. Your Majesty. Oh, so good to see you. How are you? I'm fine. This is it. Thank you, my queen. You're welcome. Oh. Emanuela, it's Olivia. I keep telling you over and over again, the name is Olivia. Oh, well, let's just chop this majesty thing. <laughs> I'm still repeating it because it is not sinking at all. You are and will always remain the queen of Owala Kingdom. Emanuela. You see, my queen, when I was about becoming a reverend sister, mm -hmm. I made a vow to God to always love and put him first in all I do. Okay. Now, I may not have ended up becoming a reverend sister, but I still keep to that promise. Your Majesty, you made a vow on your wedding day mm. to be with your husband for better, for worse, mm. all the days of your life. You don't just back out of such promise you made before God and other credible witnesses. You need to come home. Emmanuel, you do not understand. I have not understood, for you have not met me too. Tell me, what is going on? Trust me, I will understand. Mm. Oh, by the way, how is um, Sylvia? How is she doing? Oh, she's fine, but she's hurting. You <sighs> and your husband have succeeded in putting her in a place no child will ever want to be. I understand. This is not the kind of family I dreamed of. It's, it's not what I wanted. But then come back home. Come back to your family. Come back to your kingdom. 
the king your husband needs you. And a king can never be complete without his queen. You are the queen that completes him. Why are you causing all these problems? I don't think I can ever go back to this. Let's change the topic, please. I like your new hairstyle. Greetings, the great king of uh, Mawala Kingdom. May your days be great and nice. Thank you, Highness. How are you doing today, my son? I'm very well, thank you. Happy birthday, belated. Thank you very much. I am very sorry for my inability to have attended the wonderful birthday party mm -hmm. you planned for me. Very sorry. It's okay. I'm used to all of that, but then not to worry, I'm equal to the task. I made the money myself. Good to hear. <laughs> Your parents, how are they? They're fantastic. I hope uh, the princess is aware of your presence. Obviously. Some, some maid should have told her I've been here for a while. I'm sure. Okay, oh, that is oh. good. I, I am sorry to say this. I have to leave both of you for I have something pressing to attend to at the office. Okay. It's fine, Your Majesty. I have an emergency at the office. I'm off to work. Oh, you want me to come help you? Uh, no, don't worry, I can take care of it. Oh, you need me to come help you? Uh, no, there is no need, I can take care of that. Okay. See you later, son. All right, <laughs> All I'll right. be here if you need me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, have a nice day, Dad. Yes. <sighs> He's such a hard working man. That's one choice I really have time for him. <laughs> I wonder why he bothers, anyways. Excuse me? I mean, besides the fact that he's a very influential king, uh, He's made enough money to buy anything, even his fifth generation will work with money, so I don't know why he still does to work. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, let me remind you in case you've forgotten. My father single-handedly built that company. And it's with that company he's been able to gather resources to make him the kind of king he is today. So, my darling, if you're thinking of him stopping to work, Forget about it because that talk is not going to just hold on. Honestly, this is my own. Forget about it. Hey! 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 What? what did you do? What is it? You didn't realize this is pure Italian animal skin? Do you know how much this shoe you stepped on is? 990 pounds. My princess, did you see that is why I wore it? to match with this very expensive designer shirt? And you want to ruin it in your Ankara? I'm sorry, sir. In all honesty, I won't have stepped on your shoes. Just you get out of here! We, we, we don't have any reason to be together in the same space. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you, sir. You really do not have to use the market list of what you're wearing. You do this thing all the time! All the time! Do you have to? Hello. So what's the point taking the pain to waste all this money on expensive stuff if I cannot tell the worth? <sighs> the essence of getting this is for people to know the what. I should tell her and she should know. I'm done. I'm not going again. You know what? I won't do this. Today, I'm definitely not in the mood to do this. That's the door. When you're tired of sitting here, when you're done calculating what you're wearing, take a leave. You're gonna walk out on me again today, right? Why does she do this? Now I'm at fault? I'm at fault for telling you how expensive this... Just, just, just look at it. Why does she tolerate peasants around her? Low life, gutter snipe humans? Anyways, I'll be here waiting for you. Because we must surely go out. And today, with this shoe, this very expensive shoe.
My brother. Right. Sit. I want to hear it. Your Highness, why can't you go to her? Make her see reasons with you in your own way. Emanuela, I've tried everything I could. We both know how my wife could be stubborn at times. I've done everything. But notwithstanding, I am very sure that she loved me enough to come back to me someday. Thank you very much, Emanuela, for everything. As you can see, I'm feeling sleepy already, so I want to go to bed. Your Highness, I made you mixed fruits. It's in the dining. We'll see to that tomorrow. Okay. Thank you all the same. Thank you, Your Highness. Thank you. Well, Dad, I just want you to know that I'm very happy seeing you, that you're okay now, you're back to yourself, you eat well, you go to work, you do things like every normal person. It makes me super excited. Thank you, Sylvia. I'll always be fine for you. I know. Sylvia. Yes, Dad? Don't blame your mother for whatever that has happened. That she left you. She did. Sylvia, make no mistakes about it. Your mother loves you and I more than any other thing in this world. Please. Sylvia? Look, Dad, I don't even understand the both of you anymore. I don't. Listen. There is something I want you to know. The love between your mother and I has not faded. So no matter what people say or think, I want you to know that your family is not broken. Always have that at the back of your mind, okay? Okay. Yes. Sylvia? So, can we talk about the young man? I mean, Vanny. Dad, please. Well, I'm only trying to say that I like him. That I'm not a kid. I should be able to choose who I like and who I don't. Iwe! Iwe! No, you already belong to Iwe! Only you now, you. There is no two you. Iwe, I greet you very seriously. Iwe, I dare grant I greet you. I'll Obele. keep greeting you, Iwe. Obele, right. Yeah, I should. Please, right. You go look at me tomorrow. Igwe! Thank you. Thank you, Igwe. Thank you, Igwe. Hi. Abele. Hey, Igwe. How are you today? Ah, Igwe. Igwe, I am as strong as any healthy CSO can be. I am very, very good. That is good to hear. Yes, Igwe. Igwe, my Igwe. My own personal Igwe. Look at you. See as this your clothes is glittering. I'm doing bling 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 for my eye. <laughs> you see this regalia? It is tailor made for you. Handcrafted. Eh? The, 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 the person they mad with a few wear this kind of clothes. No king, no we are in kingdom, physical or spiritual, can wear this kind of clothes. It's made for you alone. <laughs> Ovele, thank you once again. Uh, thank, thank you, Igwe. You. Thank you very much. Hi, <laughs> Igwe, my Igwe. Ovele, yeah? is there any other problem? Hey, no. Something you want to say? No, 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 everything is. Uh, Igwe, there's a problem. Igwe, there's a very big problem. 
is a matter of national power security. Really? Yes, Igwe. Okay, let me hear it. Huh? Let me hear it. I should list everything here. Do you have any problem with that? Go ahead and say it, I'm listening. It was you that said I should list all of uh, uh, case number one. Igwe, you see those your guards. Those, those your guards that cannot even guard themselves. They don't have one single respect. Chicken respect they don't have. How? I don't understand. How do you mean? Igwe, you, you know I am the knight of the African temple. Eh? The chief senior security officer of the palace. How is it possible that those boys will wake up in the morning and they will see me, night like me, and they will not greet me good morning? You go, how? How? <laughs> it's all right, Obele. I am sorry about that. I, I, I think I can take care of that. There's no problem about it. I, sorry. I thought you should call and begin to flog people. Like I said, I will take care of it. Is there any other thing? Um, I was busy before you came. Hey, Igwe, leave busy for now. You said I should list everything now. I am still in case number one. Okay, I'm listening. Thank you. you. fast about it. Oh, I'm very fast, Igwe. Case number two. Number two, Igwe. This one is a matter of life or death. Life or death? Yes, Your Majesty. Yes. Igwe, you know it, it is my right and has always been and will always be my right. In this palace, to eat two meats, two pieces of umbran whenever food is prepared and dished. But of late, whenever they dish food for me, that otorota, that uh, that uh, jade, on your shano, eh, she will remove one meat and give me one. Because that is not what is paining me. The worst is that that small gear will now order me a knight of the African temple to come in here to collect my food. Igwe, where is it ever done? How? How? Obele. Hmm? That's okay. I have heard your complaints. And I want to promise you that I will do something about it. Igwe, you should begin to give order. I said I will do something about it. Now, if you don't mind, I was busy before you came. Would you excuse me? Uh, no problem, Igwe. Thank you. Uh, but I will come. Thank you. Uh, you say I should list everything, Igwe. I would only list that too. You are looking tired. Oh, Billy, oh, Billy. I humble myself before the revived king of Awala kingdom. May you continue to reign in peace, my king. Ichiofala, to what do I owe this visit? I hope there is no problem. Your Majesty, there is no problem. But I have come to discuss something very important. Something that has been disturbing me. Something the elders are beginning to discuss in private places and unfortunately um, something that has filtered into my ears and I am thinking as, as my friend that I should come here for us to discuss it. Is there a problem in this kingdom that I'm not aware of? Your Majesty, there is no problem in the kingdom, but I'm afraid there is a problem in your household. Yes, Your Majesty, it's been almost a year that your wife, the Queen, left this palace. And from what we are seeing, she's not ready to come back. We have tried everything and she is not willing to come back. Naturally, nature abhors vacuum. So I am thinking as a close friend, 
And I am thinking that the time is ripe for you to pick a second wife who is going to fill the vacuum her absence has created in the palace. It's your father. I am not going to ask you to give me time to think about this because I am going to give you the answer here and now. Of course, I have the answer. I know the answer. And the answer is that it is impossible. I don't understand. How do you mean it is impossible? It's your father. Have I ever told you or any member of the council that I and my wife are divorced? Have I done that? You have not said anything like that, but we so are... So why are you trying to force another woman on me when you know that I have a wife? Why? Your Majesty, it appears as if you do not understand what is happening. My king, you have no son. And if the authority of the kings of Awala will continue in your lineage, you should have an heir. Somebody who will take over from you when you are gone. Your wife has no son. And from what we know, she has made it abundantly clear that she is no longer interested in sharing your bed with you. That simply means that the process of reproduction between you and her cannot even start. The only way to solve this problem is you. Take another wife. And there is nothing wrong with you, the king, marrying a second wife, a third wife, or even more. So why are we not exploring that option, my king? It's your father. Thank you very much for your concern. But I want you to know that I love my wife and I will continue to love her. And uh, I don't have any intention of marrying another wife. Did you just say that? You heard me loud and clear. Okay, in all honesty, he's a nice guy. Okay. But the truth is, his character puts me off most times. Truly. <sighs> Sylvan, don't you think um, that's his own way of um, trying to impress you? Impress me? Did I ever give him the feeling that I have a certain criteria to meet to try to impress me? Babe, you are a princess, not an ordinary princess. So any man that wants to be with you <laughs> will feel challenged though. <laughs> well, well, well. Thanks for making me feel good and better. That's not what I'm talking about. All I'm saying here is just try and be easy on this guy. You never can tell. This bobo, he turned out to be your own kind of guy <laughs> okay, after all. <laughs> tell me about it. Excuse me, my princess. Vanny is here to see you. Oh, talk about the devil. Um, tell him I'll be with him shortly. Okay, my princess. Thank you. Mm. And that's my cue. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I have to start going, no, baby no, girl. No. You don't have to live on his account. Trust me, I'm not going to be long with him, okay? Sylvia. Okay, I promise to be nice to him, like you have said. That's my goal. See you soon. Be nice, oh. Fantastic, I'm fine. So how you been? Very well, thank you. Um, how's everyone? We're good. How are you? Fantastic. You really look good. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, so I made a reservation for dinner tonight, you and I. Oh wow. Really? Where? Mm. It's a surprise. Okay. So are you having dinner with me tonight? I will. <laughs> Thank you for accepting to have dinner, so I'll come pick you at um, 7 p.m. 
Okay, that's fine. Um, anyways, I wanted to discuss something with you. Do you have time for us to talk about it now, or you want us to talk over dinner? So that will be created. Okay, now I have all the meat that I have always been clamoring for. But that useless gene is not, is not talking to me again. What do I do? Hey. Hey. This girl, this girl feel poisoned me for this place. So. I think I need to report this to Miss Manuela. No, 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 no. You are a knight. You are a knight. The only knight of the African temple. It's not everything you report to a woman now. What am I going to do? Are you saying you don't want to be with the king anymore? I mean, are you saying you are done with the royal marriage? I need to know. I need to know your stand. The king himself needs to know your stand. Now, if that is what you are saying, that you are no longer interested in this marriage, then I am suggesting you give this man a divorce. Set him free so that he can go ahead and find another woman to be with. Under normal circumstances, both of you should be together. This man, you should understand, is a king. He has no son, no heir to the throne. There is nobody that can take over from him. Both of you should be together. In this era where there are a lot of options that people can follow, when it concerns reproduction, both of you should be together, planning on how a son could be reproduced. But here you are. You're not thinking about that. I am sincerely suggesting that um, uh, you should give this man a divorce so we can find him another woman who can reproduce for him. I mean, a woman who will give him a son that will continue his lineage. It's your father. I have left the king and I'm in no longer interested. If the king feels that he wants a divorce, let him go ahead and send me the divorce papers and I would gladly sign. Well, I, I guess this is really what brought you to my house, right? And now you're done with it. Can you please leave my house? Can you at least give me an explanation for this? What, what do you want me to? What do you want to explain? After all you did out there, what is there to explain? Please tell me, Vani. What did I do? I only took you out on a dinner date. Two million naira worth dinner date. And then you walk off that like that? Who does that? Fine. I get that you don't like razzmatazz and that's the reason I employed the best sax player to come and mesmerize your evening. Why don't you just sit back and enjoy the bliss? What? Wait, 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 wait. There is no bliss. The whole plan was choking me. What was with the lights? The whole paparazzi, what were you planning to achieve? What exactly? <laughs> look at me. I mean, take a very good look at me. Everything I'm wearing from head to toe is customized. Designers paid for and ordered specifically for this event. 
As a matter of fact, after this dinner, the plan is to archive everything so our grandchildren will look back on them and remember the outfit their grandpa took their grandma out with. Are you really serious with this explanation, Van? More than serious. I mean, look at me. This is expensive. More than serious. Okay, I get it. You don't like paparazzi. But those very illuminating lights were for them to get very good pictures of us. Listen, if you hadn't worked out on that dinner date, by tomorrow, you and I would be on the face of every blog. We would trend. That's the idea. But you're just impossible. It's so impossible. I cannot deal Wait. with Wait. <laughs> Can we just go back and complete the dinner? This is two million naira I'm talking about, and it is paid for already. Two million, baby. I'll be in my room. When you're tired, that's the door. Or better still, you can tell Obele to set up the guest room for you if you want to sleep over at the palace. But you see you here. On top two million naira. How do I explain this outfit now that the dinner is not even complete? Are these things not expensive enough? Mm -hmm. What is wrong with this girl? What does she want me to do for her to bend? What you don't want, just walk away. Exactly what I intend to do. Dinner will be served in 10 minutes. No! I'm not hungry. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Thank you, Ms. Manuela. I'll do exactly as you have said. Thank you. <laughs> and what's the meaning of this, sir? I don't like the way you're looking at me. The fact that you mentioned sir shows that you're very intelligent. And that is the only reason I'm going to forgive you. I don't understand. Are you having a problem with me? See, Jivofala is with the king in the main living room. And he has asked me to bring you here into the king's private parlor. So let me ask you, are you for the king or you are one of those numerous girlfriends of Jivofala that he wants to fire down at the palace? And who exactly are you of this palace? Well, since you are too blind to see, I am the chief senior security officer of this palace. And more importantly, the only knight of the African temple. Now that you know, Ngwa, begin to answer my questions immediately. Well, he asked you to bring me here. Mm -hmm. Because 
I've come to be with the king. Ooh. Are you serious? Wonderful. I'm actually happy for the king. <laughs> hey. And do you think that can actually happen without me knowing about it? See, yes, so impossible. So let's begin to talk now. Eh? The percentage that is payable to me. What does that mean? Hmm? Think about what does that mean? You said you are here to be with the king. The king will equally be with you. And after that, he will show you love. I know our Igwe very well. He will show you so much love. And is that love that I'm interested in? How much will you give me from the love he will show you? Well, let me break it down to you. Uh -huh. I'm not a her. I've not come here to sleep with the king for the fee. I am here for I have come to be the king's wife. Mm -hmm. Has our Igwe named a wife? And I am not aware of it. You must be the one. My name is Beatrice. And what do you mean by I must be the one? The king of Owala Kingdom has a wife. The queen who has the fine class in all ramification. And what has that got to do with me? I gathered you introduced yourself as wife to the king. And you have a problem with that? He is the king. And to the best of my knowledge, he can marry another wife after the queen's departure. I am the new wife. Princess Sylvia may be your age mate or senior. <laughs> How could you be thinking of marrying her father? Well, I'm not here for the queen. I'm not here for the princess. I'm only here to assume the new position as the wife. Make it easy for me. We'll still be friends. Uh -huh, your, your Majesty. <laughs> here she is, my king. It's your fellow. Who is this lady? She is someone very special, my king. The same person I brought, and I have this firm belief that you will like her. Onyeze. Me? Greetings, your highness. Greetings, my dear. You're welcome. Thank you. Please sit. Thank oh. you, my highness. You see, your highness, I am aware there is a problem. And as a man who sits in a position of authority in this kingdom, I have decided to solve the problem once and for all. Your Majesty, this lady here is Beatrice, a beautiful daughter of the soil. And um, she is the one I have brought for you to consider as your new wife. Your Majesty, you don't need to misunderstand me. But as we know, you cannot continue waiting for a queen who has already abdicated her position as the queen of Awala Kingdom. You are not just in their need of a, a queen, you are in their need of a woman who can satisfy your private desires, uh, you know, your private needs. And that is where beautiful Beatrice comes in. Look at her. She has everything. And uh, you don't need to make a lot of efforts. Just very minimal effort from you. And uh, 
she can give you all the sons and all the daughters you need, my king. <laughs> it's your father. Yeah, yes, I am a married man and you know it. Uh, uh, your majesty, you used to be married and uh, then the marriage um, got terminated. And I am thinking the best thing is to divorce her and gain your freedom. Because that marriage, as far as I'm concerned, is, is limiting your freedom. And that is why you will be looking at something as beautiful as Beatrice here and you are still remembering something that has already run away. Your Majesty, she is very fertile. And I am very convinced that this fertility is in the blood. In their family alone, they have seven boys and three girls. So whatever thing that has already happened in their family is something she can replicate here for the king. Am I lying? <laughs> My king, he speaks the truth. <laughs> it's your father. There is something I want you to know. I love my wife so much and I am not going to disrespect her just like that. Uh, but you can start to love this world too, my king. It's your father. It is true that we may be going through some tough moments. But I'm very sure that we are going to survive it. And no matter what my wife has done to me, the fact remains that she is the only woman that I have spent the most of my adult life with. And in the course of life, I have come to understand that the devil that I know is better than the angel I don't know. Mm, Young woman. Yes, my You have a very bright future ahead of you. And I don't want you to mess it up. Neither do I want you to allow anybody to mess it up for you. Look for somebody your age and get married to him. You are my daughter's age for goodness sake. I say, I want you to have that at the back of your mind always, okay? Your Majesty, I don't want you to listen to me. It's your father. Yes, sir. I want you to listen to me and listen good. If not for the kind of relationship that I share with you, I would have asked you to get out of my house this minute. Oh, yes, I will. But today might be your lucky day. Don't ever try this again. I hope I have made myself clear. You know, Vani is an impossible character. He thinks the princess has a problem with going out. But he fails to understand that he is the problem. I am still wondering why you are encouraging the princess to be with that guy. Excuse me? Are you also having problem with Vani? Look, that young man is not just from a wealthy family. He is actually doing well for himself. Well, I think the best I can do is to encourage my friend, the princess, to give him a chance. Vani might be all that, but he is a braggart. A complete departure from what the princess wants. I am hoping you're not going to call the princess and tell her all this. You should talk to that braggart, Vani. He listens to you. <laughs> Are you serious? Like you don't know Vani? What is it that you want to tell me that I have not already told that young man? Like seriously? Amanda, tell him the truth. Which is? that he can never win the princess with this lifestyle of his. The princess is a private woman and her privacy must be respected. Tell him the truth. Hmm. <laughs> he said that? Yes, and more. Really? Yes, my queen. Your husband, the king, loves you so dearly. Please, come home to him. And your daughter, she needs you. Trust. 
trust is like a piece of paper. Once crumpled, can never be straightened again. I can never trust Nicodemus. As for my daughter, I will always be there for her. My queen. Emanuela, if this is what brought you here, then this conversation is over. She's coming back to this palace. Obele, oh, hmm? why do you ask? Um, eh, 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 Miss Emanuela, have you not observed our king lately? Eh? Look at the man. He has become a, the carbon copy of loneliness. The, the man is the direct opposite of himself. Even me, I'm wondering how he enjoys your food these days because the man is obviously machiating. No, can I let you? No, let up. No, belly. Hey, look. What is your problem? See, as I was saying, I, I want to know if the king of Owala kingdom now wants to be a reverend father because, because I, I wonder how he copes at night without his beautiful queen by his side on his bed. Do, do you know me, Miss Manuela? The truth is that I cannot afford to let my wife leave my bed for one night, let alone two. May I for quasi one year? Whenever she travels to see her people and comes back, yay, also marathon. Hey, Obele. Are you not ashamed of yourself? At your old age, you are this stupid, very foolish. Look at the nonsense you're uttering from this your mouth. Nonsense, boy, dear. I don't know why I got one. I don't know why I got one. I don't know I Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your concern. But the king's marriage is really not our business. Yay. Hey, hey, Mr. Manuela, I, I cannot do business with the king's marriage. All I am saying is that uh, if the king does not want to become a father, I can arrange some girls that will come and rearrange him. Oh, Bele. <laughs> you know me now. The arranger. That is me. The night. The That's night. enough. Uh, uh. See, the king is fine. You think so? He is fine. Can I go now? I have some cooking to do. Uh, you can go. Eh, uh, Miss Emanuela. Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, one more thing, very important. In fact, this one is very important to. No, 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 I'm busy. I want to. Uh, uh, this one is very, very important because this cooking you want to go and do. I'm even happy that you are back because that abuzo, that water watcher, has not been feeding me well. Do you know that even when you give her meat for me, a whole night she will come out too? How? Hey, uh, Miss Emanuela, how? This is about me, though. You are leaving. A whole night! One night! How? The other day I was with Vanny's father at the office. Oh, okay. 
We are thinking of partnering with this company to execute that government project that is now ours, by the way. Oh my God, that is great news. Oh yes. I am sorry for not telling you earlier. Wow, this calls for celebration. Oh yes, these and something else. Wait, there's another good news. Oh yes? Okay, I need to call them to bring a bottle of wine. We need to celebrate, but before <laughs> then, what is it? What is the good news? Well, actually, um, while we were talking, okay. I mean, I and Vani's father, mm. you and uh, Vani came up in our discussions and uh, we both agreed that both of you are a perfect match for each other. How is that? Agreed. Wait, Dad, when you say agreed, what do you mean? I mean, both of us agree that you and Vani will become, you understand? Oh, wait, 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 Dad, <laughs> this is the 21st century. Parents do not try to match make children. How can you even do that? How can you take such decisions for me? How can you do that? It's not in your place to do it. It is exclusively for me to take. Sylvia, I am your father and I know what is best for you. I, I, I see the way that young man look at you and I can tell that he cares about you. Not only that, his background. From what I've seen about his background, he's capable of taking good care of you. What else you don't like about him? Th that two problems. First, I did not bring him to this house to show to you that this is the man I want to get married to. And secondly, you cannot take that decision for me. It is mine to take. Who does that? How can you... That... But, but I was thinking you were beginning to like him too. How can you be thinking? How? Who does that? What is... What is wrong with this girl? Sylvia! Sylvia! That's your business. Sylvia, I miss you. And how is that my business? Oh, come on. I, I, I love you. I, I would love you to come and spend some time with me. Just the weekend. Look, I am not asking you to leave your father. I just want to be part of your life again. And I mean every word that I say. You know that I love you. Hello? Hello? Who can make it stop? Ihe nwute, obi nwute, onyega wata mo. I just can't stand him. I've never seen a man so full of himself. He feels like he's everything. Oh. God. Sylvia. I know this guy has his faults. I also know that he likes you a lot and wants to have a long-term relationship with you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Now it looks like everyone is ganging against me. Everyone? What do you mean by everyone? <laughs> because my father is Vanny's ally, you included. Babe, I still do not understand. You won't believe that. My father told me he and Vanny's father already agreed. Emphasis on agreed that we are both going to be perfect for each other. Can you imagine that? Hmm. Yes? My princess, the king demands your presence in his main city room. Tell him she'll be down shortly, okay? Okay. Why don't you just tell him to kiss my ass? Sylvia! He heard the young man say the men sitting room. That means your father is with visitors, probably. You don't want to go there and undermine his presence, do you? Okay, fine. Okay. 
You better respect yourself when you go there, please. Ah, yeah, to inform you of your visit. Hey, my princess. Okay, so I came uh, expecting a feedback from you since yesterday. I haven't gotten one, so I decided to come over. I am sure you got delivery of the 850,000 Naira Chanel designer bag I sent you. You really cannot help yourself and live above this nonsense, I presume. Nonsense? That bag is expensive, and I paid for it in full. I can't do this right now. Sylvia! But please! Relax, son. A change of mood has nothing to do with you, okay? Why is she acting up? I mean, she's a princess, and I'm sure she's used to expensive things. That's why I got her an expensive bag. And I will keep getting her expenses. But, but, but seriously, do you have to spend a whooping 850,000 naira on a bag? Do you have to do that? I'm surprised at you, your man. You talk as though you're, you're a cheap king. You're not. You're expensive. Expensive things are made for well-positioned people. Your daughter is one. That's why I got her that bag, 850,000 naira. And I'll keep getting her expensive stuff because I love her and I'll love her till the end of the world. You will not disrespect me in the presence of an outsider again. You will not. But an outsider? So you know he's an outsider and you want me to be with him? You're not even afraid. You practically know nothing about him, yet you want me to be with him. I know him enough already to tell you this minute that as far as I, King Nokodomos of Owala Kingdom, am concerned, you are going to marry that young man, whether you like it or not. So not. you better learn to accept his excesses this minute. I am not. I will not. I do not want to warn you again. I will not. I will not. I will not warn you again. I will not, Father. I will not. I won't! No, Highness. Is everything alright? Sylvia. Sylvia. How come nobody's concerned about me? You're just concerned about me. Stop crying. 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 Why is my father forcing Vani on me? He doesn't even know him. He doesn't know anything about him. Yet he wants me to be with him. Don't hurt him for this. Please. He's only trying to say that you have the best in his own way. Can't you see what best? This is not the best for me. It's Manuela, you know him. You've seen him. You've seen his attitude. I've tried. I tried so much. I've tried so many times to tolerate him, but he's still the same person. He doesn't change. The same person. How am I supposed to be with that person? How? I know. I know, my dear. Just give your father time. He will come around. Besides, it won't take Fanny that long to reveal his real self to your dad. I just hope so. I just hope that happens soonest. Sylvia, when last did you talk to your mom? Please, not now, not now, please. Sylvia, your mom loves you. Always have that at the back of your mind. Why is she not here? In fact, both of you need each other. Why is she not here? It's okay. Why is she not here? Stop crying. Why is she not here? She loves me. Why is she not here? Mm -hmm. It's okay. <laughs> It will be okay. Everything will be fine. Stop crying. I've actually lost count of the number of times I've told Vani the same thing we keep repeating. Then tell him plainly that he cannot have the princess. And what makes you say so? Both of them have different styles. They are like parallel lines that can never meet. Indeed. 
Anyway, let me shock you. I think they're going to meet finally on her birthday. How do you mean? You know, I am going to force Vani to do things that will appeal the princess. You know the princess likes Vani. I believe if he begins to do things that will make her happy, she will finally fall for him. And what is this thing she think that he will do that will make the princess to love him? Are you not going to be at the birthday party? Sure, I will. Then you'll find out. <laughs> Your Highness, I know you want the best for Sylvia, but you seem to forget that she is no longer a child. She is now a grown woman. She knows what she wants and I don't think it is Vani. Then she better start restructuring her mind to accommodate Vani. Because as far as I am concerned, Vani is the best man for her. But Your Majesty, we also have to understand that Sylvia is going through a lot right now. Children usually don't handle parental separation well. Exactly the point. That is why I want her to be with a man that befits her, so that she can be happy wherever she is. Why not let her make that choice herself? That is not going to happen. She is my daughter and I know what is best for her. Now this discussion is over. Thank you for the meal. You're welcome, Your Highness. If anyone wants me, I'm inside. Sophia! <laughs> Isn't it? Can't say it's wrong. So what about the king? I have a pressing matter I would like to discuss with him. It is still your house, my queen. Meet him upstairs. You will really appreciate it more. I'd rather you announce my presence to him. I don't have the strength to climb upstairs. I know you are 
very well. Who is there? Your Majesty, this is Emanuela. What is it? If there is a visitor, please tell him or her that I am not in the mood. They can come back tomorrow. Your Majesty, this is someone you cannot turn down. She wants to see you and I can feel the excitement. Who? Oh. Queen Olivia. She's in the main living room. Oh, tell her that I'm coming. Okay, Your Majesty. Forgive and forget. Olivia, is it not better that you kill me than to allow me go through this emotional torture? Are you not ever going to forgive me? We need to talk. Anything. Whatever you want. Just say. Why are you doing this? I don't understand. Why are you forcing our daughter to marry someone she doesn't like? Is that what she told you? Must you answer my question with a question? I did not force anyone on her. I am a father. I'm only trying to guide her to make the right decision in life. Of course, you know she's my only daughter. And I, and I want the best for her. You want the best for her? Now, who told you she's not old enough to make her own decisions? Do you think I do not miss her? Do you think I do not hurt that she left me and chose to stay with her father? Look, I, I would have made the separation dirty and fight for her custody. But how would it help me? She has made her decision which she's old enough to do and I, I have decided to respect that. Do you know what it means to me? I've lost the greatest thing that I value in my life. But I'm ready to stand by her to ensure she stays happy for life. <sighs> Listen, you've already made a mess of our marriage. But at least let my daughter be happy. Liv, how are you doing? That's not why I'm here. I know. But you remain the love of my life and I cannot help but worry about you every time, any day. So how are you doing? I need to know. I am fine. Thank you. I noticed you've stopped using the family account. Yes. Why do you have to do that? You still have access to that account. You can withdraw money anytime you want. Why do you stop using the account? Nicodemus, you seem to have forgotten that I'm a working class lady. I can take care of my bills. I know that. I mean, even before I got married to you, I've always known that you, this queen, who ruled over our kingdom. <coughs> Leave. Do I still cross your mind? I mean, the emotions we shared together. Did they ever cross your mind? Do you still love me? Do you still love me? You know that I do. 
Then come back home. Please. This is your only home. Come back home, please. I can't. Please. I need to leave now. Excuse uh, me. Please come back here. sleep this night. Even with 1,000, I can get him four gears. He will be fine. Oh, Bele. To see how? To 200, 400. That is the only thing, you know. Oh, he passed it. Uh, is he your 200? Yes, man. I beg, go and get me food. That's what I've come to collect. Which food? As your chef or your cook or your maid? Or which one am I working for you? <laughs> Hey! See, eh? Hey. Obele, please just go. The food is not ready yet. Eh? When it's ready, I'll tell you. Just go. Jane, you're tempting me, oh! You're tempting me, oh! Don't make me come back here! And make sure that I have my two pieces of umorano. I'll else. give you mm. just one piece of meat. I'll kill you! Go to the market. I'll kill you! Ah. I don't play with my meat! I didn't see you around when I returned from the office today. Oh, um, I was with Amanda. I see. Your mother was here earlier today. Oh, she was? Yes. On your behalf. I guess you visited her. I did. That's all right. My princess, please. Sit down. I want to have a word with you. A princess. I am not against that. I want you to know that I am not against any form of relationship that you share with your mother. In fact, if having issues like this will make you run to your mother, I will not mind. Having said that, I want to officially apologize to you for making you feel you were forced to be with a man you wouldn't have ordinarily want to be with. I'm not done yet. There is something I haven't told you all this while, but I think the time is right for me to let you know. My princess, I wasn't always a rich man. In fact, your grandparents were among the poorest families in Owala Kingdom. We were so poor to the extent that when other villagers were pulling down their mud houses, replacing them with brick houses, we were still among the few families that were living in those mud houses. But thank God for government education. It is actually a long story. 
But that was how my sister and I were able to complete our secondary education. You mean Auntie Becky? Oh yes, your Auntie Becky. I hope you still remember Owala Primary and Secondary School. Of course I do. Those were my alma maters. What? My auntie and I respectively. Now it will interest you to know that after our secondary education, Auntie Becky was married off to one Mr. Ibekwe at a very tender age, 15 years to be precise. All right. Oh yes. To enable us to use the money realized from our bride price to make ends meet. That marriage almost cost our life. But that is a story for another day. Wow. Wait, that's... That's such a story. That's... Yes. It, now, despite all these... The money realized from the bride price could not even take me to any higher institution. But I was so determined to have a university education. So I took to the only lucrative job that was available as at the time in Owala Kingdom, which is bricklaying. Oh, wait, you did bricklaying? Yes, missing to be precise. That you were missing? Exactly. You? So when I finally gained admission into the university, I, I knew that I still have to fend for myself. But my mm. academic work would not allow me to combine the missing job. So I had to learn and do other menial jobs, like dry cleaning and others. That was how I was able to complete my university education. I... But I thank God for one thing. After my university education, a friend of mine introduced me to his uncle. And that was how I started working in his construction company. Now, the white man that was in charge as at the time took special interest in me. Okay. And before I could know what was happening, he made me the factory manager. Mm. That was how I started climbing until I got to where mm. I am. Now, I did not stop there. When I discovered that so much money was coming to me, I started having business investments and increasing my wealth. Wow, Dad, that's, that's huge. That's a very long journey. Oh, yes, it is. And that was how I started making friends in high places. I started throwing around my wealth. I started helping the poor people in Owala Kingdom as many that needed my help. And eventually the people of Owala felt that they needed a befitting king. Wow. Okay. That is where we are today. And I am telling you this story for you to understand that I do not want your children to have the kind of experience that I had while growing up. I want to be happy wherever I am. I want to see to it that you are happy wherever you are. And knowing full well that you are married to this family, your security is guaranteed. They can shield you. They will make you happy. And that is the only way I will know that I have lived a successful life wherever I am. You don't have to cry. <sighs> My princess, why are you acting like this towards me? I mean, I go out of my way to do everything to please you, yet at every instance you give me cold shoulders. If there's something I'm not doing right, why, why not let me know and then I can change? Why did you slap that innocent waiter? Hello? Really? Mm-hmm. 
wait. A very stupid waiter that badged in on us and spilled her very cheap wine on my expensive satin is whom you're asking me why I slapped? I should have done more than slapping but her. do you even realize who you are talking to? Do you know that I am a princess? You are talking and hanging with a princess. The more reason you shouldn't have people like that around you. If you keep having those baggages, those those scums of the earth around you, then they'll keep making the same mistakes. Okay. Can I ask you for a favor? As long as it's anything money can buy, consider it done, my love. No. Do not call me your love. If I don't call you my love, what do I call I you? I said do not. Call me your love, please. <sighs> do you really know that you can lose these privileges? and opportunities of hanging with me if you continue to behave the way you are behaving. My princess, no, you're going too far. Don't talk like that. I am saying it. I am seriously saying it and I am serious about it. No, it hasn't gotten to that. Listen, all you need to do is learn me, tolerate me, follow me at my pace just like I would follow you at your pace and then we won't have any issues. If you continue like this, it is not and will never work. It has to work because the love I have for you, no other man on earth can love you this way. Look at things from my perspective now. I was supposed to love you, but... Sylvia? Oh, Dad, I'm... I'm so sorry, I didn't know you were there. Are you alright? What has got you all riled up? Dad, you know what? I am done. I cannot be with Vani. I cannot. Look, I have tried. I've tried my best. I've even exceeded my patient level. I cannot do it. Can you imagine? He slapped an innocent waiter who mistakenly spilled drink on him. What kind of man does that? I cannot. I'm done. I'm done. Please don't even tell me to do anything. I cannot do this. I am done. Sylvia, is that all? Yes! Now listen to me. No man is that. There is something you must understand. When you stop expecting people to be perfect, you can love them for what they are. Listen, you don't develop courage by being happy in your relationship every day. You develop courage by, by surviving difficult times, difficult situations. Now you must understand that the beginning of love is for us to let those we claim to love to be perfectly themselves and not to force them or coerce them or to twist them to fit our own image. If we do that, it means that we are only loving a reflection of ourselves that we find in them. I want you to give Vani some time. I know that you will definitely understand him. Thank you, Dad. I need to get off these clothes. You're welcome. Emanuela said dinner will be ready in no time. Okay. Hi, hello. Hello. Um, I'm sorry for yesterday. It's no big deal, my darling. In fact, right now as I'm speaking with you, I'm the happiest man in the world. Is it because I called? I just received a delivery of Italian shirts worth 500,000 each from one recommended designer based in Milan. I'm just stepping out from the courier company with the carton. I know you would like some. I'm done. Now this is it. I cannot do. Can't. He's so full of himself. <sighs> Babe, you know how huge this compound is? And you made me look for you. 
I'm sorry. You want us to go get a drink? Huh? With little talk, eh? I think I deserve a gallon. Better. I don't know why Jumami will be so full of himself. Babe, what, what is it again? Are you now? coming or not? Oh, yeah, leave the road. Ha. Maybe you're keeping face like someone that just mad shit. What's your problem? Eh? I'm just so worried and confused. I don't know what to do. But, but then, Father says, if I give him a little time, it's going to help me understand him or get to know him better. But then, what if he isn't my type? What if he's not the one? My princess, following all the rules in life leaves a completed checklist. Following your heart achieves a completed you. So, let your heart be your compass when you're lost. You know you have made the right decision when there is space in your heart. Oh, Miss Manuela, you know, most times I wonder why you eventually did not become a reverend sister. Because you are phenomenal and you are amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> Mom, I'm very happy right now and I want to remain happy. I'm glad to hear that because I can actually feel the happiness through your voice. What about your father? Can we say same? Is he okay? Um, yes, he's doing well. Is he still bothering you over Vanny? Yes, but you know what? I don't really care what's going to happen. This particular one, I'm not going to attend to him. I'm not. I'm definitely going to disappoint him on this. My mind is made up. I will do what I have in mind. Not to worry, I'll talk to him again. Thank you so much, Mommy. I miss you. Come home. Sylvia, you you know that. Ah, uh, okay, you know what? Just forget I said it. Sylvia! Sylvia! Only you know that I can't go back to your father ever again. When the heart bleeds, who can heal the pain it feels? When the eyes cross the river, who can make it stop? My love. Hello. How are you? I am fine. And you? I am still the way you left me. Um... Why do you keep insisting that our daughter should have something to do with Vanny? I, I need you to stop. Listen, I want the best for our daughter. Please. You're going about it the wrong way and I do not like it. Just let her be. See, I am trying to do everything I can to... No, 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 you listen. Sylvia is old enough and mature enough to decide on whom she wants to be her spouse. Stop forcing this guy down her throat. Olivia, I am missing you every day. <sighs> her birthday is around the corner. Have you thought of whatever you would do for her? Uh, not yet, but I'll, I'll get to it. I'll make sure I get to it. Well, please do. You know, <laughs> you're used to forgetting my birthdays, but that's not the point now. Do not forget to do something for her, okay? Olivia, are you not ever going to forgive me? Oh, please, Nicodemus. Just stop. I am the one feeling the pain, not you. And then you just keep asking me these questions. <laughs> oh, Olivia? Hello? Hello? Why do you keep defending him? Sylvia, I am not defending him. Oh, wait. Do you know he almost hit a waiter who mistakenly spilled drink on him when we went out the last time? Wait, 
What? <laughs> now, do you still want to defend him? Do you? Forgive and forget. Oh, Forgive and forget. God, I cannot believe you did that. I'm sorry, please. Huh. Don't make it sound like it's a sacrilege. Sacrilege? That is exactly what it is. Sacrilege! I cannot believe that you invited a princess for a drink and you could embarrass her the way you did. I've realized my mistakes. That is why I want to make it up to her. All I need is your help. Okay, fine. Whatever you need to do has to be better. Call me when you're ready. So we can strategize. Okay? For now, I've got things to do. Gosh! How could you, Vani? Mommy, you know what? Just stop it. Stop pretending you care. Stop it. I just wanted to know how you would like to celebrate your birthday. Celebrate? Celebrate as what? The happiest girl in the world? Ah, Sylvia. Look, look, mom, if you don't have any other thing to say, I'm sorry, I'm going to hang up this call. Sylvia, what, why do you keep doing this? Okay, I... I am sorry, I... I'm sorry I left without considering your feelings. I am. Um, I'm sorry I left out of my own selfish, my own selfishness. But I, I guess with time you would understand. You know, you just can't keep pretending it's all right when it is not. That's not the proper thing to do. I love you. So very much too. Goodbye. Oh. Greetings to the great man who rules as king of our Wala kingdom. To your days belong, your highness. To your days be great, my son. Be seated. Thank you. So how is your father doing? You mean the millionaire who would not spend his money? He's there. He's there. <laughs> that is certainly not a good way to talk about your father. He has a background, remember? If he was squandering money the way you would have loved, maybe the kind of wealth that he built you are enjoying today wouldn't have been there. I came to talk about the princess. What about the princess? Tomorrow is her birthday. I know. But right now the princess is not inclined to celebrations because of what is going on between her mother and I. That is where I want you to come in, Your Majesty. You know, I need your approval to mesmerize the princess. You certainly don't need my approval to mesmerize your own woman. Just go ahead and do whatever you think is right. As long as it's okay by you, it's okay by me too. That's very right. You're welcome. <laughs> I'll mesmerize her. You're welcome. I'll get her stuff. I know how to. I don't know what you mean by mesmerize the princess. But I just think you should just play less of value. How do you mean? I should play less of Vani. Who do I play then? You? You're just getting the points. Because you have no points. Oh, Tomorrow is her birthday. And I've secured the approval of the king to mesmerize her. As I'm speaking with you, I've made arrangements for four solid live bands to play here tomorrow in celebration of her birthday. No, you don't. But if you do that, you will lose the princess completely. How do you mean? Miss Mawai's this girl with something she likes. Something like what? Like, engage some talented people to come and entertain her. 
That's the point. I just told you a while ago that I employed four talented musicians to come and entertain her. Ah, not musicians now. Like poets, call motivational speakers. That will make her feel better, I guess. Huh. Are you are you sure you're okay? Motivational speaker, poet. Avoid me. I've seen poet and a motivational speaker. It's somebody's birthday. You're talking about poets and motivational. What, 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 what kind of talk is that? What do we enjoy in that? I say you want to lose the princess. Then go ahead and do what you want to do. Poet. Is that the kind of thing she likes? So, I know the royal family very well. And as a matter of fact, I know the princess as well. But what I do not understand is why you are inviting me to the palace. I mean, I feel like they need praise singers and not necessarily poets. Darling, you're not coming to the palace on royal invitation. The princess's birthday is around the corner. I just want you to come and give a speech. I don't know why I am not excited about this particular offer. Listen, you're not going to give a speech for free. The boyfriend is going to pay you. <laughs> okay, this is becoming interesting. So, if I may ask. Okay. Who is this her boyfriend that you speak of? And just how much do you think my speech is worth? Talented. You know you're a very talented person. See, I've been able to convince the boyfriend. He's going to pay you. All you need to do is say how much it's going to cost and that's it. Mm -mm. See, the thing is, money is not necessarily my obsession. And what does that mean? Are you not going to come? Darlington, come on. You're going to make a whole lot of money from this. Just come give a speech and you'll get your money. You know what? This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to prepare a speech Good. and a poem for the princess. And I will come and deliver it personally. But nobody should pay me for it. Wala Kingdom, my childhood friend and my only friend. What's this? And babe, why the face now? Why are you still on your casual? Welcome to the palace, Amanda. Like you said, today is my birthday, so I can practically be in the kind of mood I want to or do whatever I want to, right? Sylvia, the more I try to convince myself that you have outgrown this your life of an introvert, the more you prove me wrong. What's your problem? I don't know what you're talking about. They Happy come birthday, off. my princess. Miss Emanuela. Good Lord. My uh, princess, are you alright? Um, fine. What's in the bag? Oh, a gift from your mom. She said you have been ignoring her calls all morning. Can I ask why? It's nothing. Can someone tell me what is going on here? Why are you not in the mood of a birthday girl? You are here eating popcorn. Um. Miss Emanuela, don't worry, okay? She's just in her moment. I'll handle it, okay? See to that. <laughs> sure, I will. 
My dad? Oh, he was called this morning to Abuja for an emergency meeting. He said he knocked on your door but got no response. This apparently explains why. But said he will be with you in the evening. Okay. Breakfast will be served as soon as you are ready. Just go, I'll bring her down, okay? We'll soon be done. Don't worry. I'm not hungry. Babe, go. I'll bring her down. Let me have the gift. Okay, get it. Just go, okay? Babe, what's your own now? Let me just see the gift, sir. Wow, babe, flower. OMG. I'm keeping this, right? No, I was just looking. It's yours. Babe! Come off it. Nicodemus, our daughter doesn't like this young man, yet you keep forcing him down her throat in one way or the other. Fanny is a fine young man, and believe me, he loves our daughter very much. So why don't you give him the last chance? At least I'm sure the princess will be happy when she gets to know that he has something wonderful in store for her. I want her daughter to have a good time on her birthday. I, I tried to call her this morning, but she didn't pick my call. Neither did she return it. Listen, I, I just don't want to spoil her day. I just want our daughter to have a good time on her birthday. You're coming? Nicodemus, if this is a ploy to see me, I'm sorry I'm going to disappoint you. Olivia, please. It's her daughter's birthday. Oh, really? Oh, I see. Well, in that case, I guess I have to come over. I don't think you will. I'm doing this for our daughter's sake. Okay? Goodbye. <laughs> Quite a day. Ooh. Wow, you can say that again. <sighs> Can't remember when last I went shopping. Oh, it's been ages. So <laughs> thank you so much for the things you got for me. I totally love them. You are a darling. You are welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, babe, when are you resuming work? Um, I still have about a month. A month thereabout. Oh, okay. You want to take me out again? On whose account? Oh, yeah. I beg you. <laughs> I beg you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now that we are done with the day's activities, can I go back to my movie, please? Where, where's no, my... no, 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 babe. No, no. Um, there's just one more thing. Okay. Wow! OMG! Babe, you look good! Thank you! No, no, no! What's really going on? You made me go through the stress of going to the boutique this morning and now I have to do the whole dress up thing. Don't worry, darling. Just follow me. You know Follow what? Follow me, but please promise me. You will not look. Just close your eyes. Is that your promise? Please no. Don't stress me. Please. I will not. Oh, I look so good. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, I'll lead you. Am I supposed to close my eyes from now? Just close your eyes, sweetheart. Close it. Go, baby, go. I am a I did not do this. I just helped out, you know? <laughs> Surprise. Happy birthday, yeah. princess. Thank you so much. This was now, all guys, you. my cue. <laughs> this was all you. Speechless. <laughs> no, I even say I wasn't expecting this. That's... I know. Thank you so much. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Thanks. I thought you were in Abuja. Oh, yes. It's all part of the plan. And I guess we all um, have Vani here to thank. Your mother is mad at me for playing a fast one on her. 
<laughs> and I will deal with you much later. <laughs> All right, let me say hi to you. <laughs> <laughs> Princess, mm. Princess, your mom is leaving. Baby's not fair. Princess, Princess, it's okay. It's okay. We can't shock. Well, uh, thank you everyone for coming. Thank you for showing up for the princess and we thank God Almighty for a day like this. There is uh, drink and enough food for everyone. Feel free, enjoy yourselves. And uh, with your permission, I beg to take my leave for I have something very important to attend to. Yes. Okay. Yes, besides. The party is not for me, it's for you and your friends to have fun. There See you when I come back. There is no meeting, is there? See you, princess, when I return. Okay, so <laughs> the king of a walking dog. Come, sit. <laughs> I have some greetings at the end for you. Oh. I told you I don't spare cash when it comes to entertaining my woman. I go all the lens. These are the most expensive people I could get. I, I had other options, no options, but I said, no, you deserve the best. You know where I bought those flowers? At the mall, the American mall, newly built. Expensive, organic flowers. Rose flowers. It's okay, thank you. Thank you. Olive, Olive, please. You can't leave. She doesn't want to here. That doesn't mean you shouldn't stay. Good night, Nicodemus. ladies and gentlemen for this wonderful opportunity as she correctly said my name is Darlington and I am not just a poet I am also a motivational speaker and I am happy to be here so I am not here to bore you or preach to you with 600,000 words of long talk so I'm just gonna get right to it. Uh, now, imagine life as a game in which you're juggling some five balls in the air and you name each of these balls. Work, family, friends, health, and spirit. You would soon learn that work is a rubber ball. If you drop it, it will bounce right back up. But the other four balls, family, friends, health, and spirit, these balls are all made of glass. And if you drop one of these, it will be damaged or even worse, shattered. And it will never, ever be the same again. You must understand this so you can strive for balance in your life. How? Simple. Don't undermine your worth by comparing yourself with others. It is because we are different that each of us is special. 
And uh, don't set your goals based on what other people deem as important. Only you know what is best for you. And don't you ever, ever give up when you still have something to give. Nothing is ever truly over until the point or the moment that you stop trying. Don't shut love out of your life by saying it's impossible to find time. Always remember that the quickest way to get love is to give. And the fastest way to lose love, ironically, is to hold it too tightly. And the best way to keep love is to give it wings. Wow. Wow. Remember, remember that a person's greatest need is to feel loved and appreciated. Don't use words or time carelessly. Neither can be retrieved. And see, life, life is not a race, but a journey to be suffered each step of the way. One. Somebody say one. 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 Say one. one. One smile can start a friendship. One song can spark a moment. One tree begins a forest. Oh, yeah. <laughs> one star can guide a ship at sea. One vote can change a nation. True. One sunbeam can wipe out darkness. One candlestick. It only takes one candlestick to light up a room. Wow. <laughs> one word. One word must begin each prayer. One step must begin each journey. One touch, just one touch can show you care. One voice can speak with wisdom, you see. One life can make a difference, see. It is up to you. Whoa. I hope you're not listening to this fool. Just shut up and let me hear. Always remember to forget the things that made you sad. But never forget to remember the things that made you glad. Always remember to forget the friends that proved untrue. But never forget to remember the ones who stuck by you. <laughs> always. Somebody say always. Always. Always remember to forget the bad days that have passed away, but never forget to remember the blessings that come with each day. Like these beautiful smiles on your faces right now. <laughs> and before I leave, I must say, Princess, you look so beautiful that each time you smile, you perform acts of terrorism. You wow. blow my mind. Thank you so much. <laughs> Happy birthday, Princess. With this, I must take my leave now. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't understand what you mean by your. You're going to bed in your room. I told you I rented a penthouse at the Presidential Hotel worth 200,000 naira a night. 
And you want me to leave it and then you go to bed and sleep alone? You know what, Vani? You're a very nice guy. You do things so nicely and so good, so commendable. But then you still be the one to spoil it. Keep your whatever thousand naira dollar sweet you made. I am not interested. Enjoy yourself at the, 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 the hotel. Wait, I, I, what? are you trying to tell me that? After everything I did for you today, after spending this much money and making that reservation, you're going to let me sleep there alone? Is that it? Sylvia! You know, Vanny, I don't understand you. She is not a prostitute. Couldn't you just ask her question politely? Like, ask her to come and spend some time with you. The way she now gets to your presidential suit, it, can, it could just wow her. What? What, 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 what nonsense is that? Like, I don't have a right to talk about how much I spend. Huh. You think it's easy to make money? Do you know how much that is? I spent 200,000 naira a night at a penthouse and I should not mention it. Who does that? Do you know what that is? Wow. Then you know what? You are just you. One of a kind. Excuse me. What did these girls mean? I cannot talk about my own money. You won't spend the night with me there, okay? No problem. Is it? Like, did you just say that? You put a sweet in the presentations and so what? I have to stick there with you because it's my birthday and... The man... And what? He just does everything right but then he uses his own hand to destroy it. Destroy it. And... Oh God. He keeps annoying me, annoying me. Okay, he did it. It was a surprise. Fine, a very good surprise. I was appreciative. I loved it. And then he was talking about how much he spent on this, spent on that, spent on. God. What a man. My God, am I supposed to even be with that kind of man who does this whole thing? He he does it and then he, um, he, he spoils it with his own hand. He doesn't even give you a room to appreciate him for the things he had done. Does these things and then my father cannot even realize and see the kind of man he is. He's not even seeing it. Rather, he's just forcing me on him. You have to be with Vanny. Vanny is this. Vanny is that. Van God. Finally, sports did it for me. Five days sports. Oh, God. And then mother, mother came. Look. Um, see, I. You see, I. I have a reservation for a penthouse. Paid for already 200,000 naira. Very close to this place. Mm -hmm. And I think you're a beautiful company and would make my night. This is, this is, this is unbelievable. Wait, <laughs> are you serious right now or you're just trying to crack me up? Crack you up as Funny bone or basket mouth. I'm not joking. I want you to make my night, so in turn, I'll make your morning. Wait. Are you not the same person that just finished celebrating his girl's birthday right now? Why are you talking trash to someone you don't even know? That's besides the point. Listen to me. I saw you. That's why I came after you, you know. But on the normal, I don't do this. I send my boys. <laughs> But I came after you myself. Do you understand? I just have this thing. I don't know why, because ordinarily babes like you should be taking, give or take, 15,000 per night. But I'm going to offer you 50,000 naira. Do I look like holes that you can price for sex? Next time, watch before you walk up to any lady and talk rubbish. Nonsense. Mm. 
What? Are you alright? Wait, what, what's wrong with you? What's going on? You know what? Um, babe, I'm sorry. I have to disappoint you. I have to leave, like right now. Um, I've got some things I need to do. Okay, so is it something you want to talk to me about? That's precisely why I want to leave now. I need to be alone. Okay, and um, I don't want to ruin your birthday mood at all. Oh, don't worry about that. Vani already did. Let's just go. Let's just go, let's just go. Oh. Let's go. Okay. Uh, and, um, babe. You've always been right. Right about what? About Vani. Okay, this is sounding strange coming from you. What's my right? Might be funny. Is that something you need to talk about? Don't worry. Let's just go. Come and see me, of course. Maybe let's go. Amanda. <laughs> oh God, Dad, he never seems to amuse me. What do you expect me to do? Are you serious? Oh. Why not open the gate? Why would I open the gate? No, why will I open the gate? How many times will I tell you that you are no longer allowed in this premise? Eh? How else do I say it before you understand it? Eh? If you do not open this gate this minute, I will beat you to a pulp. Eh? Me? Hey! <laughs> Mr. Avani, me? You fit into, you cut into, you beat into me. See, I'm just tolerating you for one thing. Only one reason. If not, Tipiaganya. Are you sure you're old? Do, do you? Oh, where are you going? Where? Uh, go, go. What did you do? I pushed you. Did you just touch my very expensive 350,000 Naira suit with your filthy hands? See, I'll not only touch it too. If you don't stay where you are, if you come close, I will not only touch it, I will destroy it, condemn it, and tear this ruthless satin. 350,000. Do, do, do you know how, how, how costly my own is? My coat has a history. It's an ancestral coat. <laughs> it's funny. Hello? Hello, Your Highness. Listen, I've been standing outside the gate for the past 10 minutes and this idiot, stupid security guy of yours would not let me in. What? You mean you've been standing at the gate all this while? Oh my goodness. Uh, Vani, I am very sorry. I'm going to take care of that, okay? Right now. Please do. Please. Do you know you're a very stupid man? It is your whole lineage, your whole generation are stupid people. Huh? I am definitely going to make sure that Obele is fired today. Uh, no, no, Dad, you want to. I beg your pardon? Um, I gave him specific instructions not to let Vani into the house. How could you even do such a thing? Father is an animal and this place is not a farm. Princess, do you listen to yourself talk? Do you? After all his efforts yesterday? Well, if you let him in, just be ready to entertain him and put me out of it. Princess, what has come over you? Would you, would you come back here? What's wrong with this girl? 
You see, they are very stupid. Listen, if you like, call the president of America, Iraq, and San Pista Forest. You are not crossing this gate. I am the CSSO, Chief Senior Security Officer, the Knight of the African Temple. Come across, let me see. 350,000. See, my own, it has a history. My great grandfather wore it. Left it for my grandfather. He wore it. Your Let Highness, it. what is keeping you inside? It's not coming anywhere. Go home. See, if, if you push me, if, if you, if, I will if, blow if, you. If you push me, I'll give you 350,000. Can you imagine that bastard? He had the mind to call me after all he did last night. Like I told you before, you've always been right about him. I just couldn't bring myself to tell you what I saw right away. I didn't want you to end your birthday angry. And I knew if I had stayed over, I wouldn't have resisted saying something to you. Look, 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 it's not your fault. You did what you had to do. In fact, I just wish my father gets to know the kind of person he is on time. Oh, trust me, he will. <sighs> They're all talking about Darlington. Our golden boy. <laughs> You've really taken that young man, haven't you? Ah, uh, uh, yes, I can't get him out of my mind. Tell you what, I have his contact. Oh, oh no, 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 I'm, I'm not going to call him. I, I really do not know if the feeling is actually mutual. So. I see you didn't notice he was looking at you all through his presentation at your party. Hey, 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 can we talk about this when you get here? Okay, I'll see you later then. <sighs> Talented. What is it about you? Your Majesty, I, I honestly don't know why she treats me this way. I mean, I go to great lengths to ensure she's happy. Of which her birthday party was a proof. Why would she treat me like this? I am very sorry, my dear. And I'm going to ensure that this never happens again. And as for my daughter, I know that she's going to come around. Remember, he who masters patience, masters everything. How are your parents? They are fine, Your Majesty. This, excuse me. Oh my God. Um, your Majesty, I really have to go now, please. This is a very expensive business meeting. I have to attend it. I really wanted to have a word with you. I, I know, fine. I, I, but I have to, this is important. This business is expensive, but I'll come back for that, please. It's okay. All I'll right. be waiting. Okay, Your Majesty. Thank you. 20 million or nothing. Obele! Obele! Come here. The great king of Owala Kingdom. May your reign be from eternity to eternity, from ages to ages, forever and ever and ever and ever may you reign. The stunt you pulled today, the day you try it again would be the last day you'll spend in this house. Don't ever carry out any order without my approval. Have I made myself clear? Good. Uh, uh, but your majesty, may I be allowed to say just one thing? One thing only. Do you even have anything to say? Yes, one thing. And what is that? Uh, that uh, Mr. Avani. I don't like him at all. He's not good for the princess. I do not like him and at all, at all, I will never like him. That is the only thing I want to say. You can confirm that I am not adding anything. Thank you for listening to me, the Knight of the African Temple. Thank you very much. You really like her, don't you? Let's just say that I just cannot get her off my mind. Yeah. We noticed the way you were staring at her 
all through your presentation. Mm, I'm sure and you we also noticed the way she stared right back. So, if you ask me, I think you should go for her. <laughs> go for her, you said. She is a princess. And besides, apart from being a braggart and an obvious fool, her boyfriend is also a member of a confraternity. And I'll be a fool to drag a woman with a cultist. Cultist? Mm -hmm. Who? <laughs> you mean you haven't heard? Heard what? Listen, my dear. The princess does not like that man a bit. In fact, the news around the town is that on several occasions, she has walked out on their date angry at his behavior. She doesn't even refer to him as her boyfriend. Mm. So, if you ask me, the princess is very much single. Besides, if she is in a very serious relationship, there's only one way to find out. Because the princess of Owala Kingdom would not want to play two men. Oh, would she? So, my dear, go for what you want. Princess, I am highly disappointed in you. So, so disappointed. Well, Dad, I will not be the only disappointment you will have today. Why don't you ask Vani what he did yesterday that made a woman slap him? I don't understand. <laughs> what exactly do you mean? Do you know, after the party, he was actually looking for a whore to spend the night with. I'm sure he met the very wrong lady that decided to give him a little piece of his life. I don't understand. <laughs> You know, is that the kind of son in law you want to have? One who will stoop so low as to negotiate him with a prostitute? No, it's not what it is. It's not what my tears, it's not what my smile, it's not what this. It's not even what anything. Ask him. Ask him. Let him tell you. Ah. Uh. Sorry, Your Majesty, I am very sorry with the way I left earlier. It was very important. If I hadn't gone at that time, I would have lost 20 million naira. But I'm back now. That has been overtaken. In fact, something more important just got to my ears. Vani, can you begin to explain to me why a woman had to slap you last night? But I'm going to offer you 50,000 naira. Do I look like holes that you can price for sex? Next time, watch before you walk up to any lady and talk rubbish. Nonsense. Who is feeding you that insult? A woman's slap. How is that even possible? Have you forgotten I'm still Vani, the one that takes no nonsense from anybody? How can a lady slap? Who would even do that? Vani, this question is very important. I have it on good record that you got a lady angry last night and you were slapped. I want to hear everything. There is nothing to explain, Your Majesty. I'm telling you, it did not happen. No lady would dare that. Listen to me, they know how much I love the princess. They know how closer and closer we are seeming to become. And they want to come in between. You know that. Forget the tractors. You should be making this thing work and not listening to people who don't like us. The people who told me were very emphatic. They are not the kind of people that would lie. And I am telling you the lie this time, Your Majesty. White. Lie. Nobody slapped. Nobody even. I didn't even have any confrontation with anybody, so I don't know where that is coming from. I am Vani. Vani. People regard me. I have pedigree. People respect me. I'm expecting you to do the same by drawing us closer. You know, trying to trying to merge us, trying to to make this work. That's what I expect from you. Not listening to people who you know obviously do not like the palace and not like me because of my progress. Anyways. Hmm? Hi, hello? Are you home? Yes, I am. Are you? Almost there. Had to drop by friends, please. Sylvia, check your phone. Okay. I sent something. 
It doesn't interest me what you do for a living. I want to know what you ache for. And if you dare to dream of meeting your heart's longing. It doesn't interest me how old you are. I want to know if you will risk looking like a fool for love, for your dream, for the adventure of being alive. It doesn't interest me what planets are square in your moon. I want to know if you have touched the center of your own sorrow, if you have been opened by life's betrayals, or have been shriveled and closed from fear of further pain. I want to know if you can sit with pain, mine or your own, without moving to hide it, or fade it, or fix it. I want to know if you can be with joy, mine or your own, if you can dance with wilderness and let the ecstasy fill you to the tip of your fingers and toes without cautioning us to be careful, to be realistic, to remember the limitations of being human. I want to know. So why did you call me out here? Because you're the only one I can talk to. I don't understand you, Vanny. Sylvia is not a difficult person. All you need to do is to cut down on your being materialistic. At least not when you're with her. What do you mean being materialistic? Oh, as if you don't know. Like you don't know yourself. The whole world knows how you feel flaunting your wealth. You put all effort in trying to make Sylvia know how wealthy you are. And she does not need that kind of person. She wants you to get to know her, and she gets to know you. Sylvia is a princess. A wealthy princess at that. What else does she want in a man if not one who can keep up with her wealth? Vanny, your background alone tells it all. She does not need you to start flaunting your wealth in her presence. Guy, get to know this girl. That is all I ask. So what do you suggest I do? Cut down on your excesses. Not every little thing you buy, you start announcing the price tags. Wait. Guy, cut down. Like, I shouldn't let people know the worth of the things I put on my body. Oh, there he goes. No, again. no, no, don't, not even, you, you don't go there. Because that is one thing I will not do. What do you mean? Do you know the length I go and the much I spend to get designer wears? And then I wear it on my body and nobody will know the, the, the what? Oh, gosh. Listen to me. If I don't tell you that the worth of this shirt is 1,000 euros, you wouldn't know. You would think it's just one of those shirts people wear along the street. Please, Vanny, do you need Sylvia or not? Do you want to be with that girl? Of course I do. Then do the needful. Which is? Cut down your excesses. Excuse me. Ah. Ha. Well, if, if that excesses is not to announce the price of my designer wears it, I'm, I'm afraid I can't. Even considering leaving the labels on them henceforth, I seem to cut down my excesses. Hello, Martinez. I'm sorry to ask, are you actually coming back from a date or a job interview for a 1960s school teacher? Martinez, I really am not up for this tonight. But since you have asked, can I please return the favor by asking you what runway you are headed for tonight, dressed like this? Take that back. No, 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 no. <laughs> Take that back right now. Martinez, See, I really do not know how we are twins. We are not alike in a lot of ways. But I still love you. So, this is just a suggestion. Since you are so good at this, you know, I think you should consider going for a runway in real life and not in your dreams. Okay? Mm? Mm? How can he even say that to me?
The word is talent. Do you know, I always want to hear him talk. When he's talking, I just want to be listening. I want him to talk more and more and more. <laughs> he's so smart and so intelligent. Oh, please excuse me. I need to check my phone. All right. <laughs> good how was your night short why is that let's see because i was thinking of you <laughs> do you want to have lunch with me later in the day um that is perfect but um can i change the schedule hmm how do you want to change it i have some things to do at the palace today so i don't know if you would rather come to the palace <laughs> who am i to turn down your invitation I will be there. Time? All right, 4 p.m. Is that okay by you? 4 p.m. it is. Okay then, I'll see you. See you. Bye, and have a nice day. <laughs> like, wait. What are you saying? I have told you times without number that I do not wear any wristwatch that is not Rolex. Do you get that? Sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll call you back. I'll call you back. What job interview are you going this time around that you dress like a houseboy? Like, where do you even get your clothes from? Who on earth wears shirt that is not Gucci, Louis Vuitton, or DNG? I don't even want to ask you about the trousers, where you get them from. And those shoes, I don't want to get a second look on it. Like... <sighs> this is your hair. Is it not heavy on your head? Well, no problem. Since you are feeling like the boss today, good morning, drug lord of Mexico. Hmm? Get him. Like, I don't get it. When I can do music with you, Idiot. I don't blame you. Do you know the meaning of Atta? Atta is senior brother to attire. When it comes to attire, we are the game prefects. What about you that dress like a new recruited uh, in a dress you can get man in the neighbors? Call my people. Ah. Take on the car. No, I'm not shit. Hello, Angel. <laughs> yeah, I'm still waiting for you. Okay, just be fast, okay? You know, in all honesty, Princess. I'm really getting confused here. As how? Did I commit any crime in opening up to you about this issue? Look, he's a very nice guy. That is not the issue. The issue is that you are forgetting that you are a princess. And what is it that you're seeing in that boy? Wait, 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 wait. Don't call him a boy. He's a man. He's above 18. And by every civil definition, he is a man. <laughs> really? You are actually very serious. Princess. 
princess. So, princess, you are falling for that guy. Look. Hey, I cannot believe you this. You really do not know what moves me in a man. It's either you go to your house, or you make yourself very scarce from my wing. And why is that? Because from the way you're sounding, it looks like you're going to spoil things for me and it's coming to the house soon. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You mean that guy is coming here? You have actually invited him over to this palace? I cannot believe you stood so low to settle for such a guy. Wait, 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 wait. You really don't know what moves me in a man. You don't know what I like in a guy and you don't know what I want. I have seen him and I've made up my mind. Let me deal with it. I don't want to have this conversation again. Princess. Welcome to my humble abode. Hmm. Yes. Make yourself yes. comfortable. <laughs> wow, this looks nice. So, are you ready to have lunch or you want to relax for a bit? Whatever you want, princess. I'm at your command. Okay, so lunch will be served shortly. Okay, thank you. So, when am I going to read your manuscript? Oh, okay. About that. So, the thing is I work from home, oh. so they are all over my study. But if you'd like to, you can, you know, um, come over and... I usually don't. No, no, no. I'm not insisting. Okay, you know what? If you are not comfortable coming over, I could get them together and, you know, get them across. To you me. know, just... Screw it. I'll come. Are you sure? Are you a serial killer? Hmm. <laughs> okay, let's see. I do not want to kill you, but I do like the idea of you dying for me. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. You're a clown. <laughs> okay, so the thing is I, I was invited to a seminar by some theater art students. Okay. Oh, and it's holding today. So... Let's see how tomorrow goes. All right. What? <laughs> Have I told you how beautiful you look? Um, I was actually going to ask if you are allergic to words like that. Because this is like a million times you've said it since you got here. <laughs> okay, I wasn't counting, but do you mind if I say it one more time? You look so beautiful. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help it. You know, if you continue to say this, you're going to make me used to it. No, well, I do not mind. There is more where that came from. Trust me, you will eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me, I was just kidding. Okay. Thank you, Grace. And you're welcome. Um, all right, let me just um, serve lunch. Sure. Lunch served. I would like to look at you walk away. <laughs> you just sit down. Oh my. Wow. Francis. Me. And who do you say is that young man again? Well, Dad, his, his name is Darlington. He's not just a poet, but he is a motivational speaker. A graduate of international relations. And he's also an indigenous of our land. You, you, you would have met him if you stayed longer at my birthday party. I think I would like to meet him. What? Yes, I want to meet him. Oh, okay. I, 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 I will let him know. Say that you do. Okay. Can I go now? Of course you can go now. I said I want to meet him. Okay. Uh, ah, that is... Darlington, not... Not, not Vanny. I know. The man that he... I said I want to meet him. Okay. Okay. Thank you.
Hello, beautiful. So, uh, I came back late and then I decided against calling. But just in case you are awake, I hope you're thinking of me. Saying goodnight is not just putting an end to a day. It is also a way of saying, I remember you before I go to sleep. And I hope you can feel the care that goes with it. So, hold your phone tightly because this text message is a hug in disguise. Good night, Corazon. Good night, darling. <laughs> it's so sweet. Welcome to my humble level. Okay. Um... Who did you say your father is again? Sylvia, I told you before. My father is a volunteer for the Red Cross. Volunteer for the Red Cross. Aha, <laughs> that is it. You know, I don't believe that. You know what? Why don't you just make yourself comfortable and tell me what you'd like to drink. And don't call me a braggart if I say that we have all kinds of drink because that is the truth we have all categories that exist so what would you like to have uh anything cold except alcohol i'll be right back okay wow 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 who do we have here hey I am Martinez, and you are? Uh, Sylvia. Oh, 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 oh. You are Princess Sylvia? Uh, yes, I am. Wow. Um, I've heard so much about you. You see, when they told me my brother is now dating a princess, I never believed it until now. But I guess um, you have not met his much more look-alike twin brother, I guess. Calm down. No, it, 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 it's 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 actually fine. I've um, had experience with men like you before. Oh, sweet. <laughs> I see you've met my brother. Oh, yeah, indeed I have. But quite, yeah. Um, are you alright? Um, great. <laughs> Fine, I'm very, very well. See, I do not understand this combination. Um, if you wouldn't mind, I need to go out and meet ladies with actual class. What? Omar Karahai will. Martinez, how dare uh, uh, you? you? You know what? You don't... Uh, it's nothing to really worry yourself about. I'm fine. I was just... Um, I don't... I, I, I know you, you, you Listen, have a... he's very uncivilized and foolish for talking to you like that. No, no, no. Okay, and no, it's, I'll it's, take care of him. I, no, no, it's fine. Trust me, it's, it's fine. Okay. Hey, Dad. Good afternoon, Your Highness. You're welcome. I am guessing Darlington couldn't make it. Uh, that, uh, this is Darlington. That's right, yes. Is this a joke or something? Dad? Good day. Good day. Dad! I... Dad! Dad! Oh, it's okay. It's okay. No, no, you don't have to. I, I, I'm sure it's not, it's not really good news. Okay. Baby, more, baby, more. I love you for life, oh. Nobody can say so. I love the things you say to me, oh, be more. 
Sylvia, how could you stoop so low? How could you stoop so low after all I told you? Dad, you don't even know this guy. You did not even give him an opportunity to introduce himself. Why will you do such a thing? Oh, Why? Sylvia, you could have done better. I know Vani was not sincere, but you could have done better than bring that fool that is looking like a village headmaster into my house. Now listen, I don't ever want to see that young man in this palace again because he is a gold digger. That he is not a gold digger. So you know, fortunately for me and unfortunately for you, you're going to be seeing more of him in this house because he is the one I have chosen. Now listen to me, Sylvia. I am not done with you yet. Will you come back here, Sylvia? I'll fight for you. I'll fight for you. I will die for you. I will die for you. I will stand by you. What is wrong with no this? No matter song? the weather. And some of my baby, I will love you till the end. Oh, he won't even hear from him before judging him harshly. A king in his position, who grew from a humble beginning, should know better than to judge someone based on their physical appearance. It's alright, my <coughs> child. Don't let it get to you. Don't let it get to both of you at all. Whatever happens, always remember there are many things in life that will catch your eye. But only a few will catch your heart. For sure those. Never give up on something you want. It is difficult to wait, but more difficult to regret. As for your father, don't worry. He will come around. I just lose hope. I don't even know what to do. I know, I, don't know what I know, my dear. Me. But you have to remember that when you have lost hope, you've lost everything. <laughs> and when you think all is lost, when all is all there and bleak, there is always hope. Remember that, my dear. Stop crying. Stop crying. I'm really, really sorry. You don't know how sorry I am. So sorry for everything that happened. I know. Look, I really do not understand why my father would have to react like that. I don't understand. I don't know why he did that. Sylvia, it's fine. Okay, it's all right. And you know what? There's something I want you to always remember. Okay, and that is I love you so much with all my heart and i'll always be yours okay see life will always be hard and there will always be darkness in the tunnel but you see my love the thing about this particular tunnel is that there is light all over it and you sylvia you are that light See, you are the star and that's why I choose you, okay? I choose you now, I will choose you tomorrow, I will choose you every day, forever and ever. I will keep choosing you, okay? Okay, I will fight, Sylvia. I will fight. I'm not muscular, but I will fight for you. I will fight for us, I will fight for what we share. And I will keep fighting. And I know at the end of the day, Everything is going to be all right, okay? Please come. Come spend the night with me. Please. Sylvia, you know I respect you too much to do that, okay? I want us to do things right, okay? Please. Shh. What would I do without your smart mouth? Drawing me in and you kicking me out You've got my head spinning No kidding, I can't pin you down What's going on in that beautiful mind? 
I'm in your magical mystery ride And I'm so dizzy I know what hit me But I'll be alright My head's on the wall Her but I'm So you are he, the new guy. What are you doing in my house? It is not what I am doing in your house, but what I have come to do. Hey. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What's the problem? Where are you? I'm at home. Please stay right there. Okay? Just stay right there. <laughs> Wait, what? What's the... Hello? Okay, Sylvia, you are freaking me out. What is it? Don't worry, um, I have things to attend to. Don't worry about it. Sylvia? Look, I'll explain to you later, alright? Thank God you're fine. Thank God you're fine. of you animal look if i wake up one morning and i don't see or hear from darlington just know that i'm going to hold you responsible just take a courtism away from my man and i bastard a man as if you see another man <laughs> hey, mr abane your time here don't expire oh yeah you know, see, say your face don't expire for where a princess day. Begin to find your square root, or else I will uproot you from the top root. Hunger, Halele. Am I the one you are calling, Mister Avani? No. Are you talking to me? I'm talking to your ancestors. I am talking to your ancestors. Those uh, five hundred thousand dollars ancestors of yours. I am the chief security officer of this palace. And I have powers vested in me by the gods. Ekwekwanaka Museum. Don't let me use it, or else I will kill you here. I will kill myself in self defense and hand over my cops to the police. Ngwa, Halele. Is, is this a plan? Like you people ganged up to humiliate me in this palace? Is that it? Ekakwete, let me show you what we did in 19 something in the war of Constantine. Hey, 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 Avani, I say get out. 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 If I if I blow you, I say get out. Sylvia, you need to calm down. It was just a dream, just a dream. You and I know who Vani is and how dangerous he can be. And you're saying it's just a dream? Babe, still calm down. Please calm down and sit. I don't want to sit down. I want to sit down. Sylvia, calm down. If you must do anything, if you must take any measures at all, you need to do it with a very clear mind. Though. A clear mind? I really don't think I'm going to have a clear mind for now. In fact, I won't. Did you want Darlington? I should have. 
I, I do not. I, I, I totally... Babe, babe, I don't understand you. So, why did you go there? Um, I, I... I just wanted to be sure he was okay. Sylvia. Sylvia, I know you're in love with this guy. And I know you've made up your mind because no advice. You cannot take any advice right now. But please, if you must stick to your decision, can you please make it in a way that the palace workers will not know that you're losing your senses? Please. Wait. I'm acting crazy, right? Babe, your guess is as good as mine. Huh. Calm down, please. It's you I'm looking for. Is there a problem? When you want to kick a tiger in the ass, make sure you can handle its teeth. When you want to walk into a forest where tigers dwell, you're taking a chance. If you go to a desert or climb a mountain where the sun can scorch you to death, you're taking a chance. When you decide to tread in a river where snakes live, you're taking a chance. If you do not stay away from Princess Sylvia, I will show you that I have a different constitution, a different heart, a different mind, and I have tiger's blood in me. I said I should call you when I get to a quiet place. Yes, where I am now is safe. I'm listening. You should know the kind of places you go to throw your powers around. Are you serious? You mean that Riff Raff is the son of an ambassador? Bought the mission immediately. Boss, what is happening? Why canceling the operation? Well, you know, we are ready to teach that little boy the lesson of his life. That young man is not as basic as we think. Okay? A top friend of mine from the police just called me now to inform me that he is the son of a very powerful ambassador. I don't want to go to jail. I said, I bought the mission. know how to get me, don't you? Well, well, if I don't, who will? <laughs> well, since I'm beginning to get used to all. So, are you going to tell me now? Tell you what? 
<laughs> okay, so if I remember correctly, you came to my house the other evening acting like an award winning hysterical actress. And before I could know what was going on, you left. So, what was that about? I saw you in my dream. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Now, isn't that every lover boy's fantasy? I saw Ovali and the guy shot you to death. To death? So, is that a lover boy's fantasy? Oh. Well, um, I don't think there's any cause for alarm, Elof. And what do you mean by that? <laughs> I mean, you should relax. Vanny is too basic to be a problem to us. I'll take care of him. How is this even possible that you're here? I'm sorry. What did you just say? I didn't come here for any other reason other than to say I'm sorry. I apologize. I know I haven't been the best of men. I haven't treated you right. I haven't even taken into consideration your own feeling. It's been about me, me. I've realized all of that and I have come to say I'm sorry. Please, let's, let's start all over again. Accept to be my wife, please. Well, I will say thanks for the apologies, but I'm sorry it's too late. My heart belongs to someone now. I'm with someone and um, obviously we cannot be together anymore. So, I'm sorry. Your happiness belongs with him? Oh princess, I am disappointed. How could you stoop so low? Dad, you know, when you told me your success story, you never told me how you met mom. So I did the permutations and I realized that if mom's father was a multi-billionaire and you went to ask for a hand in marriage, I'm sure he would have arrested you. How dare you? How dare you talk to me in that manner? Now listen to me. The next time I set my eyes on that Darlington of a boy, I swear I will behead him. I will! I forgive you for slapping me. But I need you to know that Darlington is the one I choose and I'm going to be with him. I'll fight for you. I will die for you. I will stand by you no matter the weather. As a mom, baby, I will love you till the end. Oh, baby, mom, no matter, I will fight for you for life. Oh, as a mom, baby. What's wrong, my love? Why are you in tears? Don't worry, forget it. I should forget it when you're in a state like this. Listen. I might appear to be very simple to some people, but in reality, I am not. I know the right offices to call when people fail to respect their boundaries. I'm just losing it. It looks like the people I thought I knew all my life are total strangers. <clears throat> Thank you so much for staying back. Please, can we go to your house and don't say no? Let's go. Let's go. Where exactly are you coming from? Sylvia! 
I ask you never to see that young man again. You still have the effort to go and see him? I see. See. I wonder why the police in this country seems to be all out when it involves a high-profile person. I'm sure he called his mother, who in turn called the area commander. And within 10 minutes, they had tracked me. That sounds so scary. You should be thanking your stars that you were not arrested. They would have seen the gun in your car, and that would have been a disaster. I still need to deal with that boy. But I don't know how that will happen now. A guy like that, who can put that level of stone should be left alone. Like you always say, I don't want to go to prison. Sylvia, can you just give me an explanation why you left your father's house? Am I not welcome here? Of course you're welcome here. How can you even ask? Everything I have belongs to you, and you know that. I just want to know why you left your father's house. Hello? Come on, Olivia. Why are you still calling me? Listen, she left me and came to you. I don't have a problem with that, for I still hold you as my wife. Can you please, can you please spare me all the rhetoric, all right? Let's deal with this once and for all. Now tell me, why did you do that? Why will my daughter marry a man that is looking like a village headmaster is something I will not understand. Well, I do understand. Love is the reason and I do understand, okay? Oh, 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 did you did you hit my daughter? Uh, 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 Olivia, how I. How dare you, Nicodemus? How dare you raise your filthy fingers on my daughter? Because of that peacock of a of a stupid boy, <sighs> Nicodemus, you are such a disappointment. Uh, Olivia, hello. Did you really have to leave your house? Did you really have to win my heart? Okay, unless you want us to sit here arguing all day. Can I go get my purse? Please. Oh, good afternoon, Your Highness. Um, um, that... You're Darlington, right? <laughs> yes. Do you know, you are all my daughter and I have been talking about lately. Oh, wow. It just suits the description. No one needs to tell me who you are. Has she offered you something to eat or drink? No, I'm, I'm fine. You sure? Yes. Okay. But I have to confess, I mean, it is very obvious that she got her looks from you. Your presence is alluring, ma. You look... Don't go there, okay? Uh, oh. Yeah. Hi. Hey, mom. Oh. Hi, darling. Hello. Yes. Um... We are going out. Oh, really? Well, okay. I guess you're good to go. Yes. Sir. Do have fun. Thank you. Oh, I see you later. Thank, see you later. Bye, mom. And stay out of trouble. Promise. <laughs> All right. Oh, see ya. <laughs> I'm glad he loves her too. <laughs> That's a good one. My favorite program. <laughs> Igwe Obele, Your Majesty. 
Can you begin to tell me why you always tell my guests that you are a knight of the African temple? Hey, why do you always refer to yourself as a knight? It is very simple. Very, very simple. Uh, since men like you have refused to be promoting the African culture as you should, I, Obele, have taken it upon myself to be promoting the African culture every day, every moment, every hour. You are promoting the African culture? How are you doing it? In what ways, if I may ask? Yeah, Majesty. Okay, see, when I pray, I pray through my ancestors and they have never for once failed me. And that is why I will keep promoting, promoting the African culture every time. We Don't... shall continue this discussion some other time. You may leave. Huh? Obele, you heard me. Igwe. I need to. How could Silva have gone out forgetting her phone here? When a mother decides to check on her daughter's phone, it's not called meddling. It's called mothering. Ah. Nice. The phone is not locked. Good. A lot of unanswered messages. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. Darlington. <laughs> Let's remember what it feels like to be in love. The peace you get when you forgive. We all make mistakes. Don't let a made mistake be the reason why you give up on somebody. Because at the end of the day, you can either focus on what's tearing you apart or you can focus on what's keeping you together. Never give up on something that you can go a day without thinking about even when you've been betrayed again and again, even when your heart is shrunk, even when you feel the pain down to your bones, even when it was deliberately done to hurt you, even when you feel broken into a million pieces, even when you've lost your trust in love, there is always a part of you that can build you again. All you have to do is say the words, I forgive you. Despite the heartache and crap they put you through, forgive. Despite the pain and anger, forgive. Despite the tears that fell from your eyes, forgive. Holding a grudge doesn't make you strong. It makes you bitter. Forgiving doesn't make you weak. It sets you free. To forgive is the highest, most beautiful form of love. And in return, you will receive untold peace and happiness. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, did you have to do that? Uh, the only thing I... I have to do right now is not going to make you happy. <laughs> Which is? I need to take you home. 
No, I, I want to stay. Mm, I, I want to stay. I want to stay. I'm not going home. Mm -hmm. Sylvia, if I don't take you home tonight, your mom is going to come after me with the cops. <sighs> I really wish I didn't leave my phone. Mm. I really wish you didn't. You know what? Let me go grab my keys and we'll be on our way. All right, I'm going to go get the keys with you. Get the keys with me? Mm hmm. Hmm. Go together. Whatever happens in there is entirely your fault. Okay. So be it. After you, puppy. <laughs> right behind. You. Come on. Mom. Mom, no. Mom, open up to me. Tell me, what did my father do? Oh. You know, after I gave birth to you, it took me a couple years before I conceived. I know. You know, when I came back from the hospital and I told your father he was so happy. Oh, I know all of that. And I know that she eventually lost the child. Yes. But, you know, it all started when I, we went for a scan and we found out we were expecting a baby girl. But, your father was not happy about it. If I should tell you I'm comfortable with the personality you present lately, then I am lying. It is obvious something is eating you up. And as your husband and the king, I think I deserve to know. I just found out that the concussion you gave me almost ruined me. Nicodemus, you are wicked. And I regret ever getting married to you. Olivia, what are you talking about? A queen should not be talking like this. Am I still the queen? Of course you. Oh, please, spare me all that. When I was pregnant, you found out I was expecting another girl child. And you gave me that concussion to change the sex of the child. I mean, how could you believe that? How could you believe it would happen? Olivia, I am sorry. I was a desperate king. Oh. I, I needed a son. And that herbalist convinced me. Oh, Listen to yourself. The herbalist told you. Look at us. Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me the truth? You, you, you told me it was some kind of concussion to boost my immunity. But you lied to me. Olivia, no, no, please, I, I please so let me finish. You lied to me. I, I can never trust you again. Olivia, I am sorry. Don't. Don't you touch me. You know, I didn't just lose my baby. I also lost my woman. You know, the doctor actually thought I, I took some undiluted alcohol. And he, he told me I'll never get pregnant again. I, I... I felt bad. I was so upset. The doctor said if I'd wasted a single minute, I would have died. Oh my God. What happened to the man that gave you that prayer? Well, as we speak, he's in jail. Uh -uh. That's too small a punishment. 
Please, Bond. Your father tried. He tried so hard to get me to forgive him. I tried to, but I just couldn't. I, I, I swear I really, really tried. You know, he, he could marry someone that would give him a child, but not, not me. And every time I looked him in the face, the whole bad memory kept coming back. <laughs> that was why I had to leave. But you know, now, <laughs> Darlington seems to have changed my mind. He said, we need to forgive and move on. And that is what I have decided to do. Olivia, you remain that sun that shines in my life. No matter what happens, I will love you forever. I've forgiven you. What? You hurt me. I'm sorry I failed to forgive you all these years. Uh, uh, are you sure about this? A hundred percent. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I, I, I'm, I'm so grateful. Thank you. Uh, oh. Okay, um, can I come over tonight? You mean that? Yes, I mean that. Oh, thank you, Olivia. Thank you, thank you. Presently, I am the happiest man on the face of the earth. Thank you for forgiving me. Thank you for coming back to my life again. I should be the one saying thank you. And I love you oh. from the bottom of my heart. How could you say that? You're the one that was... Oh, come on, Nicodemus. You're one and a million. I mean, I just want to say thank you for not taking a second. Olivia, is there any woman that can really take your place in my life? There is none. You are the one I love. And I will love you forever. That's good to hear. Thank you. No, I'm talking about love. Let's sit down to something we need to talk about. I, I think I'm ready to meet him. Who? Darlington, of course. What? Listen, I don't care if it's not up to your caliber. I know that I can always set him up. Um, Dad, I think you're making a mistake here. Darlington Listen, is... listen. Just bring him home and I will write whatever wrong I have perceived about him. I want to meet him. Okay. Yes. You will come back home. I'm happy to see you again. <laughs> Did you? Uh? <laughs> Your Majesty, you are just sitting and smiling. What is going on? Is there something you want to tell me? It's your fella. Whatever that is making me to smile will unfold itself 
before your eyes any moment from now. <laughs> okay. Oh. Tell me what to do. My queen. To make this go away. I can see you kept the visitors. Good morning, Ichi your father. How are you? Ichi your father. My wife has come back home to stay, never to go back. The Queen is back in the palace and we are not celebrating? Your Majesty, that is not going to happen. We should be celebrating. In fact, I am going out right now to arrange the cows. Because the party must happen this night or unfailingly tomorrow. Eh? Don't worry yourself about that. We are already making plans in that direction. And I told you I don't want anything elaborate. However little, something will happen. You are just an amazing woman. Aww. I am so glad to have you as the queen of my land. Thank you. Everybody in this kingdom, the young and the old, they are all singing your praise because of the quality you have. I am praying solemnly that your tomorrow will be something. Something far superior than whatever thing we have seen. He uh... said... Thank you. Wait. I didn't hear that. Can you just repeat what you said? Shift your hair. Maybe you hear me more. I said that a short speech I wrote in the middle of a lonely night did not only reconcile the king and his wife. It also landed me, the princess. <laughs> Landed you the princess, as in you are going to marry the princess. You know, once again, I have learned the true power of humility. See, uh, uh, can we just, can, you, can we continue this meeting without preaching on humility? There are words I have removed from my dictionary, please. Martinez, be like me. Be humble. Okay? Well, whether you like it or not, I remain humble. When I went to the palace on the princess's birthday to do my thing, I remain humble. Even when the king called me a gold digger. What? I beg your pardon. Mm. He called you what? A gold digger. Well, at the time, he thought I was a poor citizen coming for the princess because of the money. But he swallowed his words the moment he realized who our parents are. <sighs> Martinez, be happy for me. Your brother is going to marry a princess. You know what, Darlington? You have just ruined my mood with this information. I am happy for you, man. Marry the princess first. Then I will tell you a piece of my mind. This boy obviously did not hear anything I said about humanity. What kind of twin brother do I have? Can you say that again? My father's name is Edward Ezio Carforsa. By Edward Ezio Okafor, you mean the retired permanent secretary and the federal minister of work? Yes, my king. He is my father. Oh my goodness. Uh, well, dad, you... I wanted to tell you about him, but you never gave me the room to, so... Okay, so when can I meet him? When can I meet your father? Uh, well, he has been traveling, volunteering for the Red Cross, but... He may be back in the country in a few months' time. Uh, that will be okay by me. Very okay by me. Oh, uh, everyone. Hey, Mama. Lunch is served. Okay. Come on. Okay. Let's go over for the time. <laughs> I can't believe I was rejecting the son of the man who made me what I am today. A first-class graduate of the Oxford University in that matter. Well, now you know. So you must begin to make amends. 
Besides, you have to learn to listen to people. You're the king. And that is one of the virtues required of you. I agree with you completely. If not for the 500 million naira contract that he gave me, where would I be today? Oh, you sound like he gave you the 500 million naira so that your daughter would marry his son. Stop beating yourself up. Learn to relax, okay? Now, I think the best thing now is for us to look at the problem that is facing us and think of how to solve it. I have a line for that one. Okay, go ahead. I know, but I cannot stop regretting my actions. Well, you have to let go of that. Let's start thinking of the problem that is facing us and think of how to solve it. There is always a way out. Which is? Darlington is from this kingdom, remember? Mm -hmm. Or better still, we'll find a surrogate. Mm, I never thought about that. That um, fertilizing my egg with your sperm and implanting it on someone that will carry the pregnancy. Exactly. I have been talking with a doctor friend of mine in California recently. <gasps> California is too far away. These things are done in this country. Why don't we find a hospital here and do it here? Have you say so? It's been a, a busy day. I'd like to go up and rest. If you don't I'm mind. right behind you. Right behind me? Yeah. Did I hear you right? Don't you try it. <laughs> I'm going up, don't come after me. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I'm right behind you. Don't come right behind me, yo. I'm very happy with my brother. In fact, I'm impressed. Okay. Finally, I know that all I've been teaching him are not wasted. Hmm. I don't know what that means. Oh. Are you trying to take credit for your brother's achievement? I am not taking credit. Darlington himself knows that I am the one that taught him the slants that landed him the princess. Oh. Listen, my love. Slants are very important in everything you do in life. Slants open doors. You know me, if not add the slants, who's an appearing? Stop twisting that saying. It is the gift of God in someone's life that can open doors. So it has nothing to do with, um, what do you call it? What do you call it again? Slants. So please. And by that, you mean? Babe, your brother Darlington is a super talented guy. And that talent fetched him the princess, so. See her, see her, my love. Can we just change this topic? I don't want to get angry. I'm trying to keep you away. I'm trying to keep you away. Sorry, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Uh, but I was told that uh, the king swallowed his words Immediately, he discovered who your parents were. Do you mind that idiot calling my brother a gold digger? Finally, they are the ones digging in my family. I'm patiently waiting for my brother to marry the princess. Then I will look into her face, look straight to her face, and call her a gold digger. No, you don't do that. Please. I will do it and I will keep doing it. Ah. Are you serious? <laughs> you shock you. Um, man, it's seriously, I'm surprised. I didn't expect you to come. Why? Because I lost out on you. No, I'm still a huge part of this family. You know, an influential part of this family. Remember, we still have a 200 million naira deal binding both families. <laughs> 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 Your Majesty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I know about that. I know. It's just your life, and there's no need forcing you into another person's life. Yes. When you can be you, you cannot be anyone else. Well, um, this dinner is on my invitation, and I want you all to allow me to declare it open. <laughs> Baby, it's already open. We're eating. 
All right, uh, that my wife has finally come back to the palace is a good news. But the greater news here is that my daughter Sylvia has found the happiness that she has been looking for all this while. <laughs> now, there is something I've come to understand in life that love is indeed a beautiful thing. Yes. Darling thing, yes, it all started gradually. But God finally has shown that He is capable. If we all can stand up with our glasses, I want to propose a toast to Darlington and Sylvia. Baby, must we stand? In, in Scotland, we, we toast while seated. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Um, pass the wine around. Um, thank you. That's it. pain it feels when the eyes present river who can That's make it stop <laughs> no it's not that one though oh be what they when you go on some more should I hold it hey 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 should I let it go I don't know what what is wrong with you Turn my 400,000 Naira jacket. I know you are broken. Expensive, you know. It's expensive. So, so Go away with your Ankara. Oh, no, no, no. 